Hello, everybody. I think I'm about ready to get started. Let's chat a little. Uh, we did some setup on the previous stream, but basically the goal for tonight's stream is to get a really high level monster and probably get OP equipment. So one thing we have to do is we unlock Cave of Ordeals. I'm not sure with the stronger enemy builds how far I can get on my own without recruiting a monster first. But essentially we want to clear up to at least level 4 for the purpose of getting enemies. Uh, and I can also grab people from Cave of Ordeals 2 from what I recall in order to go on our journey to absurdly broken level monsters. So I figured we'd take a little break from the bill grinding. And I guess dive into Cave of Ordeals. Let's pause the music and get the game started. So yeah, I think for the most part, uh, people might be wondering, like, people that haven't played the game specifically might be wondering, like, oh, how are you going to get really OP equipment? So, like, we talked about monster merging before. We're basically going to pump up our attack and we'll end up with the ability to basically capture higher and higher level monsters. So that's pretty straightforward. But equipment's a little more tricky. I might actually have to do the item world towards the end of the stream in order to power up our accessories. And in fact, I'm going to be using the item world to get all of our weapons, more or less. I don't intend to purchase anything for monsters. We should just be able to get it by playing the item world, which is kind of a strange statement because you would think, you know, there's like millions of weapons in this game. How do you make sure you get a good one? And honestly, it's not that hard from what I remember. Welcome in Parameter, hope you're doing well. So we're going to advance a little bit further forward. If I really need to buy a panic weapon, I have 2.7 mil. But basically, the way I view it is that we have a lot of melee characters that could potentially survive an encounter with a monster in their base. So in theory, I could start recruiting right now. I think what I want to do is expand my options a little bit. I'll save here just in case for whatever reason I game over. Um, I'm going to expand our options a little bit by going a bit further. Streamlabs was fixed. Uh, I think so. I put in a ticket with them. So that's good if it's behaving itself. But let's... I don't know if there's story, but I'm going to choose not to skip it. I don't think there is. No, there's not. Okay. So chat might remember these horrible monstrosities from Etna mode. The absolute BS of their sniping. Uh, in theory, we could combine a couple and probably recruit them. So if I'm really desperate, I'll get them. But honestly, they're not a weapon. They're not a monster type that interests me. And their max level right now would be like low a thousand, which, while at some point I need a higher level monster, I don't think that's it. Now my question is, with our stupid, ridiculously overpowered party, can we just solo everything without me needing to do anything too crazy? Like basically could survive that. I actually think Rogue Nine can get this kill. I'm gonna go for it. Good job, Rogue Nine. You did it. <laughs> so, I'm not even entirely convinced I need to summon anybody else yet. I could summon to kill the guy in the corner. So right now I think the, the stages are quote-unquote still beatable, but I doubt that'll happen by the time we get to the end. Let's have Chris uh, start things off with a little bit of a... Uh... Ice magic into Imperimeter's ice magic. So Imperimeter is just strong enough to 50% him with no buffs. So we know that if we were to buff Imperimeter, he could literally one-shot every enemy here. So I'm not that worried. Even if they target Imperimeter, I don't really care. Yeah, that's fine. No, it Rogue Nine took multiple hits there like a champ. Wow, they ignored- they killed- they chose to fight Laharl over the mages? <laughs> That's how tanky they are. They're like, listen, we, we can't deal with that in Parameter. <laughs> Just tap out. It's impossible. <laughs> like, what was that? I have never seen that before. That has not happened in our entire playthrough. To just have our mages like this and not a single one was attacked. That is actually fantastically stupid. I'll take it. Oh, actually, you know what? Sophia's mirror, I think, is one of the items I might use to dive. Oh, if only that was XP. If that was XP, I could finally level RJ Chaos. 
One day, chat. One day I'll get the XP that I see. I swear it exists. So I'm hoping at some point I get the ability to summon a mage with a XP boost. So we know 50% more damage equal to kills, so we're going to add 80% more. Um, The 20,000 health guy might last a little bit, though. I'm not going to lie. We might need some help on him. I think the smart move would be to weaken them like this. And definitely try to build off a little bit of a combo here. Hit the other guy in the corner. And then we just need to have Chris do Omega Ice. I don't think they're going to die from this because they are very tanky. The Holok should die, but I, I don't think the others will. And then the only thing I need to do is just split up the mages a little more. So yeah, we put him at basically zero. What we need to do is just move Chris like over here. Move in parameter like here. They should want to attack the other mages and we should be fine here. I don't think they could kill Kirk as is. Okay. They still didn't kill the ma- They still didn't kill the mages. What an absolute- What an absolute misplay from the enemy, right chat? Total misplay. GG, I guess. So we're gonna go ahead and rotate a little bit. Okay. I think I could just do this, honestly. Oh, that didn't quite kill. That's a shame. Anyway, that should one-shot. That's more down to an pen and parameter one-shot this is the question. I can even group them together a little bit. Now nah, I want to save one person for later. I'm going to move Frost over here to make sure that they don't attack. The only thing I need to make sure is that both of these characters die. Um... I could throw them with Calvisham to line them up. I think that would make more sense. So I can hit the weaker one with Chris. Probably with Omega Star to do some neutral damage. And then if they happen to survive this, I will do Omega Win. Even if they're resistant to it, this should just kill them. Ooh, but the other one didn't die. Interesting. I'm going to move Chris over here. We should still be fine. We might lose the mage, though. We're two mages. Oh, they're going in. Mage hate is real. That's fine. Calvisham somehow survived. Good job, Calvisham. Uh, should be able to Braveheart this. This should lead into probably something like this. How did that not kill? So disappointing. That health heal trolled me. Yeah, that's not going to kill Kirk. He wants to go in the corner. I don't care about that. I was going to save Kirk levels. It just makes it more likely for him to survive. Even if this hits me, I was going to say, even if this hits me, there's no way this is doing damage. Kirk is just too tanky. Get out of here. Stupid enemy. It's almost at the point where I almost want to level Kirk up back to level 1. Not that I need it for the run. I just feel like rubbing it in the enemy's face. Oh, I didn't realize there was a second one over there. I don't think I'm going to die because I have healing items. A second one does make it a bit more annoying, I'm not going to lie. Because I was thinking it was just this one, in which case this has no chance of killing me. So I'll have to heal once. What a shame. Whatever. On the plus side, Kirk is getting a ton of mana if I ever want to reincarnate him. Oh, I actually don't have that many healings in here. That could have been really scary. That would have been a really dumb game over. Just, oops, forgot to purchase healing items. Uh, we're gonna go like over here. He's probably not gonna attack, and then I'll be able to reach him next turn. <laughs> 93? That's it? Holy chat. Game over. No. Get out of here.
How much money was that, by the way? Wow, look at that money chat. Quite a lot. But we're gonna get a lot more. So now I can definitely afford some upgrades. Belts are probably good if I want to get a cheap boost on somebody. Honestly, if there's an item with, like, mixed stats, I might consider it. Yeah. If Cactus Armor had more attack, I would consider it. Dragon Jacket is okay. But as is, these items are kind of bad. Oh yeah, speaking of which... We need to find better stealing items for later. Ooh, Bandit Hand is exactly what I'm looking for. So as I mentioned before, we're gonna be ste we'll be stealing items from Item World at some point, so I need Bandit Hand. Like, I need a- I need a lot of them. The best I can get without using a Thief is a 50-50. So, I would like to... improve my odds of winning a 50-50 by taking, like, 10 items that could do it. I believe the hit percentage on the hand is directly linked to how accurate the weapon will- or how accurate the steel will be. But technically, this with, like, 54 hit is good. Um, but I want Bandit Hand. I believe the later formulas in Disgaea care more about the range of the hand. I don't think Disgaea 1 cares about that at all, from what I recall. The formulas are very simple in Disgaea 1. Uh, so we have a lot of banded hands for later. I don't want them in, like, oops. I had to do item. I don't want them in, like, my main inventory right now. I could leave, like, a couple. But the way that it's going to work is I'm just going to have a very high-level monster attempt to do everything. And that's all that really matters to me. Oh, I have some eclairs in here. Oh. Maybe I accidentally made it go to the other menu, because I was like, there's a lot in here. Yeah, we'll need more banded hands. I would like to get at least five more while we're here. Well, that's two more. I'll take another fairy dust just in case for later. Bandit hand. Get a Bloody Mary that has some health. Why not? More bandit hands. They're a clear. They'd probably be good enough. Yeah, that's more than enough healing for casual play. So. I doubt I can steal anything useful now, even if the monsters do have something like that is strong. But we'll, we'll get a better opportunity in Item World. The reason being is that Item World will generally give them better and better equipment rather than raw levels. So we'll end up in a scenario where like a fairly basic item will just lead to absolute endgame shenanigans. Like to give an idea, Cave of Ordeal is a rank 30 area. Welcome, Doozy. Is a rank 30 area, but we could get Sophia's Mirror. So if we play with Sophia's Mirror, we should be able to get, like, rank 35, if not 38 weapons just by going into an item world for it. And the fact that we almost got one while playing there almost proved my point. But I'm sure I could go back to one of the other ones that I have. I don't need it to be anything, like, super crazy. I don't need to dive into, like, rank 38 items. I think that's a little overkill. I mean, I could, I just don't think we really need to. Alright, how impossible is this for us with the current enemy bill? Ooh, that's looking a little... That's looking a little out of our range at the moment. <laughs> right, chat? Like, so here's what we'll do eventually. If we combine all these together, that's 400, 600, 800, about 1,000, 1,200, 1,400, about 1,700 due to rounding. 1,900, about 1,200. So I could get a little over 2,500 onto a single monster. That might be good enough. But I think what I'm going to do... Let's test something before we try to do this. So because we have enemy bills already partially activated, I might need to get a weapon now. Even if it's just very me mediocre. I actually can't afford that. That is so sad. Hmm.
I mostly just need a monster level. I don't need them to be like good, quote unquote. I think I just need a raw monster level. It'd be funny if we get Sophia's Mirror. Oh, we got Muscle Victory, which I'll take because honestly, we are using that item. Here's what we need to do. We need to lure at least two enemies onto the mana core. Or technically, I could also bring it onto the, the trees. The problem is the trees are kind of underwhelming. Hmm. I think what I should do is... I should let them hit Kirk and then see what they decide to do from here. And we just need to get the ball started, I guess. So what we need to do to get it started is we need to make sure our melee characters get a buff. But I need them to be a little more grouped together first. I kind of wish Laharl had better defense. We'll probably give him another item later. Yeah, I'm going to make sure he survives, so we're going to use a blonde. So I think what I want to do is... I need another turn of them not really doing anything. So I'm going to stall by summoning Calvisham here. And then next turn, I'm going to go for it. Hopefully he counterattacks a couple of these, just because it would save me time. If he doesn't, it's fine. Oh. Oh, that's unfortunate I got the kill there. I actually did not want the kill. Hmm. Let's see if we could get it started. This is going to be a little, we'll say experimental. So I need them healed. The problem is he took like a little too much damage there. Hmm. needed like one more turn. I think what I'm going to do is put him away. Yeah, I just wish these guys weren't snipers. The problem is like they kind of snipe and don't provoke counterattacks. Yeah, I'm just thinking about if there's a way to save it. Because I can heal him. I can kill him. I guess I could kill one of them for now. And just work next turn on doing something more interesting. Oh, Manticore is finally moving. If only Ninja actually dodged. <laughs> I swear Ninja never dodges except for ally moves. It's so terrible. Alright, so I think I got most of what I need here. So I could kill two of these. No, I need, I need more of them merged. What I need to do is... Wish they were... As I said before, because they're snipers, they're not in a way I can hit them consistently. Because I was going to hit them with a Winged Slayer, but I don't think this is good enough. Yeah, that's not going to be good enough. Hmm. Rethinking things. Yeah, I might have to try to survive the cats. If, if I could get one of the cats, it's definitely over. But I need a monster first to kind of cement the team. I guess I could combine these two, but their level total is only 300, which is not impressive. They need to be closer to like 600, so if I manage to get all four of these creatures together, I think it would work. So I could try to do something like... Is that, I don't care about the monster stats, just for clarity. I just need raw levels. Ooh, they're in a way I can't even throw them together. Ugh. Annoying. Unless... Oh, there we go, the diagonal throw. Like, those stats are pretty good, right? Just 4,000 base attack? That's not too bad. The question is, can I kill them? As is, I don't think I can. 
They need to get way weaker. Yeah, let me let me restart. I want to do something similar, but I, I think I need to weaken them a little better. It's like a puzzle where enemy RNG AI matters. Just kind of annoying. Um, I think what I need to do is... I could kill a few of them outright, so I think what I need to do is lure myself here, make sure that they get sort of close, but then I attack with Imperimeter, because if I combine three of them together, it's not too bad, and then from there things should start to snowball. I think I was just like a little too slow. I think like right here I need to kill and or merge most of them. Damn, that AoE is annoying. So, like, if I can combine... If I have these characters here... I can wound him with a Hurricane Slash. I can wound both of these with a Meteor Impact. Maybe I just need a couple of buff characters, actually? Shouldn't do with Imperimeter. Let's summon a character that's definitely going to be sacrificable. So essentially I need to get Braveheart up on most of these characters, so that means I have to have a lot of sacrifices here. With Imperimeter and Chris kind of cleaning up a little. So I think I can combine... I think I can hit this guy. I can hit weak both... weaken both of these four. Then do I have enough to combine them and throw them is the question. I don't think I do. I might have to wound with Imperimeter. I'm just like trying to think out loud what I need to do. I might need them to try to survive a turn. We'll see. So no matter what, all three of them will probably need the stat buffs. I think that's a safe assumption. And then next turn, I should have two mages that can buff. So what I could do in the meantime is something like this. So that's a lot of damage to them, and now they're much more vulnerable to merges. So I could do stuff like... Find Calvisham here... Where? because I need the health. Then I just try to com And then I combine and hold? Maybe combine and hold will work. I have Rogue Nine chuck one of them. That's fine. If I can lift those two, I'm good. I think that's actually fine. Since there's, I don't think Chris can die. And Parameter can't die from just two hitting him. Three hitting him will kill him. And that'll let my other allies kind of go back to where they should be. I think that'll work. No reason to not at least try this. So this is the before. This is experimental time. I think this will be good enough for us. And then I could just leave the monster in there next turn. Yeah, this is good. This is good. I think this will work. As long as they don't kill Chris and Imperimeter, we're fine. And this is fine. That's that's within acceptable boundaries. Alright, so now Calvishim can throw one of these in here. Oh, we actually can't. Hmm. Right, at least our damage is really high across the board. This should might be fine. So the 316 one is much easier to subdue. I think I can weaken one of them with Parameter and try to capture this one. So that way I just have one monster to start the snowball, if that makes sense. So like, any damage I could do on this one is like, super valuable. I think I could capture this now. I don't like the monster type, but I just want to make sure we could reasonably do 3000 damage to it. So how is the rest of it going to work? I'm basically going to put the other characters in here.
Might be like one character shy. So I can now move them out of here. So Calvisham can live if he needs to. So let's exper- oh. Let's experiment a little. Alright, so in theory, I should be able to conquer them, because I've Bravehearted myself, my attack power is really high, I put it on more than one character with buffs, and I have multiple characters that are decent level. Now granted, I have some trash characters, which is fine. Sometimes you just need trash characters to hit take hits. So let's see if this works. We're experimenting in real time, chat. If the enemy pops out, we reset. <laughs> Hopefully he dies. I did weaken him a lot. Oh, really? How did I only do a thousand damage? Okay, I think we got cheated. <laughs> Chad, I think we got cheated. How did he survive that? That's actual insanity. Hmm. No, 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 I want to know health effects. Hmm. I thought for sure that would be enough, but apparently I need to get them lower. Hmm. Interesting. I just want to see something really quick. From my own curiosity. Wow, this one is fighting forever. Interesting. So our current characters are only capable of doing 228. Okay. So I think then, I realize what our mistake is. So our stats aren't quite where I thought they were to beat the bases. So with that knowledge, I want to retry one thing. So I think we could capture not a triple, but a double pretty easily. So we just need two of these combined and we should be good. So let's go ahead and I guess combine them. Then we'll have three melee characters come out. Although I need to wound them first. Hmm. I think this is still fine. So as long as I weaken them a little bit, and by a little bit I mean I put them down quite a bit, should be fine. So that means these other enemies are fodder. I don't need to worry about them. In which case... I'll sacrifice somebody random. Plinier. So if, if I can clear out these initial people, I think I'm fine. And that should work. Alright, so Imperimeter is definitely strong enough. And I can move over here now. A little out of the range. So all I need to do is weaken them with mages, and then I should be good. That's fine. A single strike? I'm like, chat, listen, we will take that all day. So now we need to make sure that our other characters receive buffs. And I should be able to capture as long as I wound them. I think that's the other criteria. They have to be pretty low on health for me to capture, or else it won't work. So I need them much lower than they are now. So I'm going to do Chris first. Or technically, I could just kill these two first. Ah, uh, it doesn't matter. Oh, oops. I thought it said fire for some reason. The ice into ice. 
Put one person first. Ice into ice. Like, we definitely need them lower. Like, this is still too strong. So I think what I need to do is... Put you away. Put you away for now. Come out with a brave heart. All I need to do is... Oh, she didn't even do anything yet. So she could just move all the way over here then. And alt the Braveheart. That saves me some time. I have two Bravehearts. And then I need to sacrifice somebody to hold up the other enemy for a turn. I think that's fine. Move Chris in the corner, so he's pretty safe. Move Imperameter in the corner, so he's kind of safe. And now I have some Brave Hearts for next turn. The only thing that has to happen is I have to kill these monsters here. And if I lose another person, it doesn't matter. I'm willing to get one more buff if I have it. Yeah, we're going to do something like this. So with these increases, I should be able to do something like... Oh, I can get cutter, please. Why will you not let me move? Okay, there we go. This is being finicky with me. That almost killed both of them. That means I can hit them with Laharl's ability. And him leveling is good. And now I just have one enemy that will potentially hit me, so I could put Rogue Nine away. And I guess next turn I should be good. I need to hit them with one element blast, I think, from Imperameter first. We're gonna definitely Omega Ice them real quick. So I put them basically as low as I could realistically go, right, chat? Like. I don't think I could possibly squeeze it any lower there. So what we're going to do is we're going to put all the melee characters together again. And now that they're this wounded... Oh, I don't want to accidentally triple buff them. I want to make sure that we can... Braveheart. At least back up to... How we were at earlier. We'll try one more Braveheart. So now that's a lot of attack power. So the ninja sadly did not get any buffs. Now we can put them back at the base. And in theory, this should capture. If he somehow... Yeah, I was gonna say, we better capture an enemy. Get out of here. <laughs> Right, chat? Get out of here. <laughs> there we go. Now we can start the snowball. Good damage. Oh, did they kill Rogue Nine? Oh, that's a shame. Rip Rogue Nine. And any level ups they get here will just make capturing even easier. So now I just need to clear the stage. We should be good. We've already gotten a monster higher level than any of us have ever attained before. You know, perfectly fair and balanced things have occurred, is what I'm trying to tell you. So, so I just got a level 300 monster, which is uh, three times more than what we've had. But now the snowball can begin, because once we have a 300, we could realistically get a 700. Then we could get like a 1800. Then we could get a 3000. Then we could get a 6000. Then we could get a 9900 or so. I think with this, we're going to Braveheart for sure. And with the remaining two characters, I think I'm just going to spend on magic boosts on our mages here. So at this point, I just need them to uh, snipe here. If Laharl dies, Laharl dies. <laughs> Listen, chat. 
No love lost there. Uh, sure, let's hit him with the old wind, I guess. Chris might die here. It's a little far forward, we'll see. The fact that he could even reach this is so disgusting. I I'm not even gonna lie, like... Not even gonna pretend that that is anything other than disgusting that he can hit that. Alright, so I think it's only Chris can do damage here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna magic boost Chris. And maybe Chris I don't think Chris will get a kill. He's gonna do a lot of damage here. Ooh, that's actually super bad for the enemy. That's all they did. So now, in theory, we could steal a mana core if I really want to. He's very tanky, but I don't think it really matters. Um, sure, let's focus on some buffs. So you need to get rebuffed. Parameter can now get in range. Let's do a nice little magical boost for both of them. These characters are probably low on MP. This will be my last buff I think I apply to them. And we'll get one more Brave Heart here, just for good damage. So now... This should be some big damage. Let's do Hurricane Slash into... Hurricane Slash. And try to feed Chris a kill here. Because he does need a little bit of mana for later. Nicely done. We're at the point where I think a parameter could just slap that one enemy from existence. Hopefully he could reach. I'm actually not sure if he can. Oh! Oh, yeah, there we go. <laughs> that, that's fair, right, chat? I'm there. The enemy died on its pedestal over there. GG, I guess. Actually... This is fine. Lahoro might live to the end? Question mark? This counterattack is huge, actually. Let's feed Chris another kill. We're definitely just gonna hurricane slash into wind equals death. Ooh, that wasn't strong enough due to the magic boost wearing off. Well, when in doubt, I guess in parameter it out. Omega Star, die. So we got Muscle Victory. Which is going to be relatively useful at a moment. Is that an upgrade for uh, Calvisham? He's got Muscle World. How's that compare? Oh, it's much weaker. Oh, that's a shame. Um, It doesn't hurt to just have randomly tankier characters, honestly. Because basically the enemy randomly chooses who it attacks. Which is also why it's kind of unfortunate for deciding who gets there. But if I can have their random stats interfere with the enemy killing me, I'll take that. This is fine when crazy is when things are not fine. Pretty much. Funny enough, we've almost unlocked Testament. So if I just had a little more money, I would just buy the Enigma outright chat, by the way. Sadly, we just got nothing but awful, awful items. Just like a little more. Anyway, let's take a look at the monster we just recruited. We've we've recruited Vodka, by the way. So he has enough raw stats that he should just survive almost everything. So we just need to give him some random items and we'll be fine. Hmm. Sure, I'll give him random belts. Who cares? Sounds like we don't have like a lot of junk items. I don't think she needs an Imperial Seal anymore. Yeah, honestly, stats like this might matter. So now Vodka is so powerful. Take that as you will with that phrasing that if I just get a couple of attack ups, he's as strong as Kirk before Kirk's item. 
Like, to give you an idea how dumb this is about to get, we, we've started the snowball. So now, I think... If I could just give him a... I'll give him a cheap weapon, because it's better than nothing. Yeah, this barely costs any resources. I think I'll get this one. So now he's basically as strong as Kirk. But unlike Kirk, he's got literally like three times the amount of health and way better stats. So this character is basically just going to out-tank everything it fights. And it should have more stats than whatever we put in here. So, in theory, a snowball should begin. So let's just compare... I want to compare where we are stat-wise, since, again, this system's a little weird. We're going to experiment in real time. If I do something like this... Can we just capture one of these instantly now? Because that would save us a whole bunch of time. So keep in mind, our stats are now even even higher. So if I just do this, is this good enough to kill this at basically full health? Let's witness. We're getting replaced by alcohol. Not inaccurate. It's going on for a while. Wow! We just... <laughs> Vaka's like, listen. Listen, we do what we want in here. Okay, so we're now at the point where we could capture basically anything. If he could do this, we could do this. Oh, that burned up a lot of his SP. Okay, so that's all I needed to know. So we can avoid having basically a party wipe by just getting one more monster, and then we're going to go capture the other one. So here's how we can view this, chat. This character is just leagues and bounds above everything. It can tank whatever it wants. There's nothing the enemy can do to stop this character. I mean, look at that damage. So if we could get any attacks out on... Oh, that's perfect. If we can even wound them slightly, we're basically good to go. Although getting poisoned there kind of sucks, I'm not going to lie. Can I really not land Paranoia because the other thing's in the way? That's so annoying. So what we can end up doing is something like... We know that Imperimeter is no longer needed to be in the base. We still want Imperimeter, don't get me wrong. But I think what we could do is combine most of these characters install a turn I think we could do something like as I said before it should just kind of spiral out of control very quickly I think we're basically at that point where now that's like the same stat as us but much weaker I should be able to throw myself back in the base if I need to, which I can. So I can stall one more turn. I think I do want to do that. So I want to... I want to combine these two together and weaken them. We I mean, now have a 474. Hit them with two fire shots maybe here. Make it a little more doable to kill them. Because the more damage we do here, the less our party needs to do. That tells me I could do one more Omega Fire and basically capture this monster for free. I would have liked to have slightly better stats on this character, but, you know. We'll, we'll take it slow. It's, I, I don't have the exact science down. But I think at this point... Like, I, I could go for another one. If I really want to, I could probably get away with another merge here. Probably. I just don't know if it's worth risking the reset or just getting a free one. 
That's basically what I'm thinking about right now. The only thing I need to make sure that it happens is that one of our random characters needs to pick him up. And we're good. And that's fine. That's also fine. That's less fine. Kind of annoying, actually. We definitely need at least three buffs. I'm gonna make sure I don't go too crazy here. We're gonna bring out our best characters with triple buff. Ooh, I actually... Oh, I had too many characters die. Yeah. That is so unfortunate. Wait, no, no, no. This is still fine. Because I could do... I could do this. So we know... And Parameter can use fire on this one again. No! Spell RNG! No! It rolled high! He killed it by like 5 damage. He only did 3100 before. Oh, that's so annoying. Oh, spell RNG. Oh, that messes everything up. I should think about this. How annoying. It's still doable, but it's like, man. Alright, so what we're gonna do is... I can't believe that kill. That's so unfortunate. Yeah, I think I lost too many characters on this setup. And as I said before, it's just gonna get easier and easier, because our sets are gonna get more and more broken. I think what I can do is put him back. Maybe I could do something like this. Is this good enough? No, they're not high enough level. Mm. I don't want to reset, but it's like I need a third one, but the other one is the other ones are just too far away. So annoying. Alright, which case, what I'm gonna do is... I'm gonna use Cure Poison on the other character with a throwaway character. I think that's the, the hot tip here. Oh no, my status cure is in here. Oh, I thought I put one in here. Oh, that really sucks. Well, I mean, the more health helps for later. But I think what I need to do is... Probably just wound you then. Wow, that did like literally nothing. That is so sad that that killed. That threw off my entire plan. I don't think I could do it now. Unless I could somehow get a third one. Which I mean, should be doable. And pull this one over here if I need them. I mostly just need the mana core dead now. So maybe this is doable? I don't think they could really kill anybody other than this character, which is kind of whatever if it happens. And I could even make her do this. If I want to protect them longer. That's going to be two hits. Slash, Paranoia. I can heal him with one of the other characters before he walks back. Mega Ice. Omega Ice? So we're very close to killing the other one. So now I just need to move in such a way that I summon the this guy. And then I think we could get started. Okay. Ooh, parameter living with like just a pixel. But a pixel's all that matters. I 
was gonna say, so Parameter's levels actually kicked in pretty hardcore there. So that guy's gonna be poisoned for a while. Chris can survive a couple hits. I think it's just more of a question of, can I weaken these other guys without killing them? So that puts them pretty low. I don't want to merge them yet. I think what I'm going to do is back up and cut them. So as long as they're injured, this shouldn't be too bad. And I can have one more character set to buffs. I think this should work. So I need to combine them next turn, I think. Oh, if that killed, I was going to be so salty, chat. I was going to be so salty if that killed. Holy. Like, please don't. Um... So right now his stats are pretty low. Oh, I actually blocked myself. That's kind of annoying. I'm gonna use a clear to reduce the poison damage. I might have Chris go back briefly, just so that I could combine them together. This is so awkward having like less characters at the beginning. We do something like this. They are still decently statted. It's not a big upgrade as I would have hoped, because they kind of messed things up. Oh, we got Cognac now, so we're, we're going with the beers, I guess. Hopefully I have one character survive this, and we should be good. That is not what I was hoping for there. I don't know if this is going to be good enough. I definitely need him to go back in the base. I could try to kill him like this. Just worry this is not going to be enough damage. We'll see. I, mean, I put him pretty low. Hopefully this is good enough. As I said before, they kind of messed everything up for me. I'm not going to lie. So hopefully the stats on my other one should just beat this one out, right? Okay, there we go. That's good. Okay, so now we have two monsters to kind of backload, and now capturing should be much easier. Ideally here, I'm going to get enough money to get one thing. Although, I'm wondering if this... No, 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 I don't have a high enough level. If I had a level 1000, I would just do the item world right now, so that way I could get better stats overall. I'm going to use one of the, uh, the clears that we have. Who survived this, by the way? Oh wow, Baka didn't even come close to getting injured. Yeah, you can see their stats are stupid with like barely any good items. So if I gave them everything that Kirk has, I think he would break 5,000 attack without any effort. Which is kind of sad when you think about it. We spent like 20-something hours leveling the characters and it took me like 30-something minutes to get the same power level <laughs> for monsters. Like, yeah, that's fair. Right, chat? Totally fair. Monsters definitely aren't really broken in this game. Should be enough money to get what I want now as a backup. We almost have enough for Testament, surprisingly. Once we get that, I think we're gonna be in a really good spot. Alright, we're gonna go we're gonna get a placeholder item. 775 with no gladiator. No. We could do better, chat. 
I say as we roll, like, one of the worst monster weapons I've ever seen. I just looked at it and went, you gotta be kidding me. You know what? That item is so broken. I'm actually gonna purchase it, because it costs, like, nothing. Huh. That surprisingly costs very little. Anyway, chat. This is where things start to get a little out of hand. So we now have a 5,000 attack creature. And we have two characters with over 3,000 attack. So at this point, we should be able to capture at least 800 level enemies. And his stats are so insane that it almost doesn't matter what we do. It's in fact so strong that I might immediately unequip Festivate to put it on this character. I'm kind of thinking about it. Honestly, what a character right now. Let's see, is there- are there any other fun, cheap items I can pick up real quick? Five attack on Plunder. Really? So at this point, I basically have a strong enough monster that this monster alone could probably solo Etna mode. If I gave it Testament, I don't think I could be damaged. And I would be doing 6k plus damage. So yeah, we now have two monsters like that. So keep in mind, we have a whole bunch of characters we can stat up. So now the question is... Can I now clear the next stage? Because if I can, we're in, we're in a good shape. So we now have two super god monsters. Spirit Belt might be... Oh, Matsumune. Man, I wish we could get that. But anyway. Spirit Belt might be a fun pickup for more attack power. So keep in mind, chat, they have about a 1700 attack, but oops, 2k defense, so... I think this is where we just start stomping them from existence. So ideally, we probably want to combine three or four of these. And in fact, at some point, we're just going to leave a monster in the middle to tank everything. But for now, let's see what kind of damage we could do with this disgustingly, disgustingly overpowered team. So keep in mind, chat, this entire game we've been leveling up Braveheart's proficiencies. We're about to see why I've been doing it. <laughs> if, if it wasn't clear before, we're about to witness some really disgusting stat scaling. So most people should have a 5x5, five five, so I now have potentially 5 super gods that could all benefit from strength up. Due to me having the cross formation there. So kind of GG, to be honest with you. This damage should be insane. <laughs> right, chat? Like, the, how how is anything gonna survive this damage? Look at this. It's like, dun 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 dun. dun. Oh, we actually. Whoa, you had nine thousand health. That's fine. Let Let's go give some uh, XP to some of our other characters. You know what, Kirk? Maybe you'll level off of them, and it just makes capturing easier. So if we clear this stage, we get a damage belt, which is actually huge. Um, I think at this point I could just put the others away. So I could just leave them in there for captures. I don't think their attack goes down while they're in there, but we'll find out, I guess. Let's see, can they even hurt the other character? That's fine. They can kind of hurt Kirk. They didn't even bother attacking the other character. It's kind of funny, actually. Oh, their attack doesn't go down while, the, while they're in the base. Oh my gosh, chat. Some disgusting shenanigans are about to happen, for sure. So now we can just guarantee their stupidly high stats. So 6k is just waiting in the base. Um... Parameter is probably dead here. I don't think there's anything I could do to save him, but... We could get a Cat Lady, level 400, but I think we could do better. I think we could do a little better. Let's go ahead and combine a couple of these. Or, actually, can you hit all of them right now? That's like a perfect merge for me, honestly. So now they'll be level 600 or above, but we could do a little better, I think. Thank you. 
which I can't quite go back in. If only can they can parameter dodge this. I'm just curious if we could get in. I'd, if we don't get the bonus item, it's fine. We're gonna get way better in a moment anyway. I'm just curious if Vodka plus Kirk is good enough to get in here. It might be. 712? Just a small increase over what we're using currently. Just a little bit. I would like for our mages to not be in there. Oh, I think Chris died already. Uh... So I could throw this character in now, and I might. Or if I can wait till next turn, I get a big payoff. Hmm. This is so risky. Uh, I don't want to have Kirk out here. I'm going to end turn and see what happens. That's fine. You know what? They even managed to hit each other, which I find funny. Right, chat? Like, wait a minute. That's actually not bad. So now I just need to do a little more damage. Do I have any character I'd be willing to try it with? I don't think so. So what I can do is to try to guarantee that we have less death. I can have one other mage come out. And this will be the last buff that I could do. So now their stats should be insane. Yeah, there we go. Much better. Hopefully this works. We'll see, though. They might not be strong enough. Oh, we captured. Who lived? Vodka lived? Okay. Okay, Vodka did it, chat. <laughs> there we go. We now have a level 700 in the base. And we also have RJ Chaos for some reason. You know, if we had the XP up, we'd be good. I know, barely. See, this is why we need better items on these characters. Ooh. Oh, they're taking too much damage. No! It's the weaker of the two that survived. Oh, that's so sad. I don't think that's good enough. Can I summon? I have one more character I can summon. Oh, I think he's not good enough. Actually, they trolled themselves. Why'd they do that? Yeah, the wrong one lived. Oh, damn. If the other one lived, this would have been GG. So I don't think I got greedy. I think I just got unlucky unfortunate. I'll go out with a bang, I guess. I know, so close. Yeah, this one is just, like, slightly not tanky enough. If he had, like, another 800 defense, it'd be fine. I think I gotta quit out, but welcome, Chris. So that tells me that I can combine... Maybe I just need one more monster to get it started, then? Hi. Right. New plan. Let's let's go let's go with one less monster. Cause I need I need to still be able to clear the stage. Also, I don't know why I did a single buff instead of the multi-buff. That was a mistake. That's fine. But welcome, Chris. Hope you're doing well. Yeah, you can see the damage difference, they don't hurt this guy at all. So if he just wants to eclair every turn, they should just kill each other. <laughs> right, chat? Like, this I'm not worried about. So I think what I need to do is actually just straight up kill some of these targets. So right idea, but we need to get a little, a little better. Oh. 
I mean, honestly, they are just kind of... I mean, look how low this one is. Huh. Sadly, though, I think we need them actually dead. Sorry you didn't sleep the best, Chris. No mercy. Yeah, if we could get rid of just a couple more of these, we should be fine. And you can see, like, they are wounding each other, so, like, I will kill them eventually. So now clearing the sage seems a lot more doable. Right, chat? Like, suddenly I'm not fighting, like, five of these leftovers. I could just kill these groups again, I think, right here. Already so much more doable. You know what? This looks like a perfect... Oh, oh. This is this is for Chris. <laughs> He's probably gonna die for it, but you know what? If there if if there is a way to go out, it is to greed kill a quadra kill. I think that was totally worth it, chat. <laughs> it's like, yeah, 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 that was kind of worth it. <laughs> Suddenly I don't have to deal with one of those. Perfect. Couldn't resist, chat. The, the, the urge to do it was too good. So honestly, we just need to kill this one in the corner. Once she dies, we're good. I could technically try to bring the Succubus. The problem with the Succubus, just for chat's clarity, is that she is a character that does damage based off of int. And you might not have noticed since I skip a lot of weapons in this game, but uh, Disgaea 1 has three weapons out of 42, I think for monster, that actually raise int. And none of them are the final weapons, so it is absolutely terrible in this game. Like, just actual trash garbage, and there's no reason to take an in character. Um... Should be fine. Yeah, healing with the Claris, I think, is actually going to be crucial to completing this stage. I think the boss kind of messed up there, which is good. I wish I could see what their health was. Oh, they're still at full. I think what I'm going to do is this then. We mostly just need to kill this one, which I could kill with probably in Parameter. I honestly just want them to chip each other a little more. Like that. That helps. So we're almost at the point where I probably want to go for the kill. So close. I think I could get Imperameter to kill. So if Imperameter could kill two of these, we might be good. But I don't have a lot of chances to buff. So we're going to hope Vaka, Kirk, and Laharl are basically strong enough to kill the remainders. Just need to kill Ethel. So next, next turn. Next turn. I'm going to go for it. Oh. Why did the other ones not move at all? What's up with that? Wow, I can't believe that didn't kill. Um... I think we have Imperameter snipe this kill. I'm gonna be real with you. Worth. <laughs> right, chat? Worth. Alright, so we just need to combine two of these very weak monsters together. I think I could probably do that. And in order to do so, let's use an Eclair with Kirk's character. No, no. Let's... Oh, I just need to do a little more damage. How do I do it? Why have Vodka do it? That's, that's what I should have to do it. So now they're much lower in general. So those three combined, I don't know if I can kill. 
I could combine two of them and get a guaranteed merge. The 228 here is like beautifully perfect. So I could try to just kill with what I have. Hmm. Slightly, do I have somebody with eight movement a lot? Oh, I have somebody with nine. Wait, will this work? Oh, the range because both of these are very low, so like I'd probably get away with just putting Baka away and he could capture them both. I want to hit them just like a little lower. Like, the Krim held is the problem, I think, for me. The question is, how do I do it? Oh, he can't reach the base anyway. Hmm. In which case, what I'm gonna do... I think that'll put me at a death range. So now I should be able to... So if they happen to die, they happen to die. Like, that's fine. I took overall way less damage. Oh, I can't get in the base. So these two combined, I think I could deal with them. I think I need just a weak target here. I might be able to get the kill off on this character. But we definitely want to get them lower. Like, one more hit and then I go in the base or something. Hit a lot, that's fine. How many more summons can I have? Just one. Kind of brutal. This is before, if I could get even just a little more damage. Oh, that's... I think we got them now. So not how I wanted it to go, but... Wait, did they just kill each other? Oh, they killed the level 400 one? Oh, whatever. Whatever. I tried. In which case, I might as well just get that last character. So sad, chat. They, they killed the one that was higher level of all things. I know. It was unfortunate. Whatever. I guess what I could do to try to guarantee the kill. So I could have our two toughest characters come out. Both of them get buffs. So the odds of them killing are pretty high. Then I just need one person to throw. And I could probably just make it somebody that could kill just in case. I could technically pull Kirk out if I want to. I think Laharl would make more sense. Stage over. <laughs> I did get a decent amount of cash, but sadly. Yeah, it was kind of a downgrade. Yeah, it was so sad, chat. We almost had a real character. But on the plus side, it means we have another character in the base that could just tank hits for no reason. Oh, hey, chat. Look, we got Testament. Oh, look at that health total difference, chat. Oh, my gosh. Hold on. We're, we're set. Hold on. <laughs> Equipment upgrade. I would like to get a good testament here. I don't know about you, Chad, but I think a nice little, uh, maybe some gladiator on it would be nice. Speed? No. 2,000 health and all of that is a very, very big pickup. Manager Sentry Gladiator? Uh, honestly, maybe? <laughs> yeah, we'll take that. I don't need it to be rare. So now, Chad, we could take our best character, give them an insane amount of health, Look at that. Look how much look how much health they get just from equipping this. <laughs> how busted. Anyway, chat. So if we had any doubts as to whether I could capture a character, uh case in point. What do you think, chat? Is that is that a fair amount of stats that they just gained? So capturing should now go much easier, just FYI. 
I believe we're at the part of the game where it starts to snowball. If we got a spirit belt, I would have put on the spirit belt. I will see if there's a cheap monster weapon I can get just to make capturing easier. Wow, triple dietitian, seriously? Where's my triple gladiator chat? Broker, coach. Um. Yeah, that's fine. So again, we have characters that are, like, decently strong, so capturing should go much smoother. But yeah, this testament means that this character can basically solo the other area. Since before we were taking a little bit of damage, now I don't think we will at all. The fact that testament is adding... Like, here's one thing that I don't fully understand, chat. Like, his aptitude's only 100%, but when he puts it on, he gets, like, 600 from it? Listen, chat. I the in-games, the things just, I feel like they're lying to me. <laughs> I mean, he straight up has like 300% to his stats. I think we could all agree. Like, there's just nothing even remotely close. So yeah, so any extra damage on any character is good for us at this point. 2200 isn't great, but at least it should do some damage. So we're going to do that stage one more time, except we're going to go for a Super Nekomata this time. I could show you, you know what? I'll show you the next stage. I don't think we could clear it, but I'll show you the next stage. And if we could clear this, it's something. So anyway, everything's XP 50. So if you're trying to level human characters, this is normally what you would do. <laughs> Look at 11,000 defense. <laughs> yeah, chat, chat, we're not ready. We're, we're not ready for that one yet. Listen, we gotta we gotta work up to that one a little bit more. It's a little, a little tiny bit, a little tiny bit unfair. Anyway, let's try this one again. Only this time we have a super... Oh, hold on. Ooh, do I want to clear it just for Barrage? Maybe. I'll clear it just for Barrage. I don't mind taking free items. But anyway, this character, as I said before, is now essentially immortal, so... If I just want to do a couple of generic buffs... Honestly, they have so many stats, I don't even think I need to buff. And if we need to weaken them up a little bit, we have some other monsters. You notice we're taking far less damage overall. I'd like my speed stat if it ever kicked in, but apparently not. Big damage. They killed each other a little bit. See, this this enemy is a problem. The other enemies I don't really care about. Okay, so what we can do is start combining them. And honestly, even the other one is not that weak. We mostly just need to heal. I think I could do with a little bit of trickery. Get Edna to heal real quick. Oh, if I ended turn there, I would have been so salty. Oh, I only have one Eclair left. Oops. Thought I had more. So we need to combine at least three monsters together. I think we could do it. to move a little closer to over here. I could probably combine these two together. But keep in mind, if we manage to capture this, they're now 740. They have a lot of attack power, but we'll see what happens. I think I need one more turn hitting them. Ooh, that did some serious damage.
Yeah, as I said before, I might have made a small mistake because I didn't restock healing. Because I, I would have just re I would have just healed at this point. Let's see if that was a mistake or not. So we definitely need to pump up our strength. Because the game only really cares about strength. We're gonna have probably Imperameter and Chris come out. I don't think we need a big strength buff. I would like to hit them one more time if able. So we have some stat ups at least. Put them in here. Ooh, that didn't do as much as I was hoping. Hmm. I can still go for it, but it's a little risky. Can't do it. Um... to go for it. I think what I should try to do is one more set of buffs and then that'll be it. Because unfortunately the other characters weakened. I would have just used this opportunity to heal a little more. I think this should work. At least their damage is pretty good. I think that improved my odds of killing there. Now I just need to probably summon Calvisha. Alright, let's see if this is good enough. I might not have done enough damage, we'll see. I'm hoping Testament carries me, but it might not because I got so injured. Uh Oh uh, yeah, too too tanky. Fortunate. Oh yeah, in which case, I have an idea. Sorry, Kirk, I need to borrow your testament. <laughs> Wait a minute, hold on a second. Damn. Damn. Hold on, chat, hold on. We're going even further beyond on this one. What the heck are these stats? <laughs> Alright, let's give Kirk a health up. Sorry about that. We're, we're feeling our way through, but uh, this should be a vast improvement of damage. I think chat can agree. So a little better. A little teeny bit. Uh, we need way more heals. Come on, game. So we're gonna redo that, but with more heals. And then we should be fine. Because the big problem was that I just literally couldn't out-heal what they were doing. But now I don't think I'm worried. Come on, game. Are you seriously only giving me SP ups? You've gotta be kidding me. <laughs> right, chat, please. Game. Do a little better. Yeah, now we should be fine. Now I have no reason to summon an ally to help. Since we should be taking like 100 to 200 less damage just based off of that. Let's restock on Eclairs. Gotta be kidding me. But double testament is kind of nasty, I'm not gonna lie. Take one, one flan. I don't need that many more. I just need like a couple of basic heals. <sighs> Maybe I should rank up our items so I stop getting crap like that. <laughs> One day, chat. One day I'll get what I'm looking for. Come on. Eclairs. We need eclairs. I'll take flans for other times, but we need eclairs. No. Come on, Disgaea. Roll better. Gotta be kidding me. <laughs> That's needed eclair three rolls in a row. There we go. How many healing items is that? Enough, apparently. I'm gonna put away a couple flans for eclairs. This probably should be good enough. In theory, I could steal the weapon the enemy has, but I don't remember what our level difference is. So remember how that other succubus kept hitting us? I could probably steal their item now if I want to.
Anyway, this should go way better. All I need to do is attack from the start and we should be good. Yeah, so I can basically half health them, which is what I'm looking for. Oh, look how little they're doing, chat. Oh my gosh. Okay. Right, chat? Okay. Now this is much better. I'm taking like 200 less damage a hit, so that makes my healing better. And they're chipping away at each other. Can't really ask for better. Uh, probably want these dead. If he levels, that would be funny. Yeah, and they really are just kind of chipping each other out at the moment. Well, that one is super low health, so I might be able to combine that one soon. Although, honestly, we still have two enemies left. Let me just kill them. Wow, and he leveled. Okay. I think Chad agrees. This is looking way easier. Why do they kill each other? Well, you see, they have an ability called Mystic Blast, which is an area in front of them. And they go, you know what? That's good damage. I want to do that over a normal attack. And they just choose to ignore their allies. So they Delta kick me out of the range, and then they just hit each other with Mystic Blast. The AI is a little special, chat. Like, they could just choose to Rapid Kick me or Fist of Fury, but they're like, nope. Yeah. <laughs> they're dumb. They're dumb. It oh, why is your health total so high? Holy. Um... Yeah, like, see how this one has Bear Claw? I don't think I could steal from here. Oh, I can. So I could steal their weapon if I want to. I probably don't want to combine the ones that have weapons. So I could get a level 600, I think, pretty easily here. The question is, how badly do I want to merge them? I'm more worried about Bear Claw scaling their stats into a, a oblivion. Um... Care as long as I see big numbers. So I think at this point, I'm almost ready to go. I basically just need to wound a couple of them. That's pretty low. So what I can do to set up for next turn is we already have some pretty strong characters. You see this character stronger than Rogue Nine. Perk's damage went down a little bit, but I don't think it matters in the long run. I probably want Laharl in here. What we do is we force Chris's character out. This should put him mostly out of threat range. And Parameter can also buff. And I probably want one more set of buffs. In fact, I probably want one more set of buffs. While we're here, I might as well do it. One, two, three. So we didn't even do this last time. This should be a big game changer in our damage. So now, <laughs> now, now the character we have been out tanking has 12,000 attack chat. Something tells me we'll probably be fine. <laughs> Something deep down tells me that chat. It could be anything telling us that, though, to be honest. <laughs> but, you know. So we're going to leave him in the base. I don't need him at the moment. Um, it is. It does kind of suck Vakas out, because he is a lot of damage. I could throw him back in the base, which honestly probably makes the most sense to do. So I'm going to take the low health character, purge them. I'm going to take the other low health character... Is that our 9 movement? Oh, just a 7, okay. Merge them. I don't think it matters who goes where. So we could definitely get this level 684. There's no doubt in my mind we could go recruit this character right now. It's just, how greedy do I feel like being? I mean, with the 12,000 attack character in the base, I'm pretty sure we have it automatically. 
But given how our luck has gone, I don't know if I really want to risk it. Um, so in two throws, I can move this character within range. So I might as well just do it. So what I can do is I can summon you. And then what I could do to try to save one of our other characters is throw you in here first. So now we have another character. So the Nekomado damage is pretty good. I don't think they could kill Konyak. Rogue Nine is okay. Hero is really good. Laharl's damage is really good. We have like four really good damage characters. Let's see if this is good enough. We have way higher stats than we did before. So this should be GG. Yeah, this should be GG. Wow, we actually had multiple survivors? Wow, chat, wow, I had multiple survivors? Okay, so we just got a level 600 cat, so it's going to... So next time we should be able to do it, we should be able to get a level 1000 character. And then we might take one small break to go to item world to get a power up, but the... You can see the damage kind of scaling exponentially. Like, we just have a 12,000 power attack character. Just kind of going, eh, whatever, you know, just kind of like... What can you do? Bonk. <laughs> so yeah, at this point, it's basically GG. If I want to steal their weapon, I can. Wow. Wait, Chris actually survived? Wait a minute. Damn, Chris's levels mattered. You know what? This is for you, Chris. She hit you. You get revenge. You get that level up. Your levels mattered. <laughs> that Reaper's Cloak actually saved you. GG. Get outplayed. Speaking of which, what's your weapon right now? Nessie attack. I don't remember if that's any good or not. Let's find out in real time, chat. What is Nessie attack? Disgaea 1 weapons. Give me one second. There's just way too many weapons for me to memorize. I'll be real with you, chat. This, this is one of the ones where you consult the charts. You don't even pretend to know which one this is. So it's Nessie. Nessie attack is a rank 21 weapon. It gives 325 attack. I could steal it if I'm bored. <laughs> okay, that okay, that was disrespectful. I just walked up and just stole from them. Like, okay, sure, why not, chat? Listen, just take the 50-50. So because our level is higher than them by more than double, we're basically always going to have the 50-50. So... Yeah, it's just going to get worse and worse for them. Ooh, somebody that's weak to fire. Hmm. I wonder, can I do something like this? Oh, if that was bonus XP, RJ Chaos would have come out for sure. An Imperameter kill. Did all of his training save him? It did. Good job, Imperameter. Get that extra level up. <laughs> get that extra defense, which actually somehow matters in this crazy world. Alright, let's move over here a little more. But at this point, I could just walk up and Kirk them. I mean, I don't think they could do anything to me at this point. I could also just bring out Vaka. Yeah, let's do that. Vaka, what's your chance of stealing something interesting? 9% chance of getting it, huh? So we can see a small level difference, doesn't matter, but 475 is good enough. So take that as you will, I guess. Oh, that's, that's what we call a foolish mistake. I could combine these monsters and capture them rather than kill them, but I think it's time to shame them. Uh, let's see, you're weak to fire and neutral to fire. Good enough. Age power chat. Ooh, their resistance is actually pretty good then, yeah. So close. I'm gonna put Try away for now. But yeah, if this was bonus XP chat, I would have been like, finally, I'm free. I could just make the cat fight each other. Why not? I'll show you the ability that you couldn't see being used earlier. I'll turn the effect on. This is what they kept using on each other. They just kept spamming that over and over. 
So yeah, th this is looking over. Oh, poor Chris. Ooh, get bopped. Let's see, you're kind of injured. Oh, out of range. Oh, uh, my low movement betrays me. Let's say throw with Rogue Nine. Maybe this will reach. I didn't throw far enough for some reason. I'm dumb. Okay, let's do what we can here. Uh, Mystic Blast again. Your health total? Oh, minus fire. Maybe, maybe Imperameter will kill. We'll see. Might be a little short. Oh, that only did three. Oh, that only did 1,900? Oh, Imperameter got cheated. That should have been his kill. The cat rollo damage. Boo. Rip Kirk. It's okay. We'll give this to Imperameter. Goodbye. Well, on the plus side, if we have to go through the item world, I'm not feeling all that concerned. So we now have a fantastic amount of money. With very little effort. This character stats are going to be so stupid. So yeah, we're, we're dual wielding Testament, which is basically GG. I think we could still do better and stronger. We're probably going to dive into the Sophia's Mirror that we have, even if it doesn't have anything interesting on it. I mean, double Gladiator, at least, with skill. Yeah, I think it's, I think it's almost over. I mean, look at the health difference, chat. 9,000 versus 26,000. Chat. Oh, 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 oh. oh no. Oh, they're at 9,000 base attack power? Oh no. Chat, we're scaling. We're scaling again. There we go. See, now we got some decent stats on the other characters. But yeah, this character with their 6,000 hit and ridiculous stats is, uh, yeah. At this point, they could basically solo that entire other fight. They could probably help us clear the next area if we need them to. But you know what this means, chat? Now that we have three monsters that are really good, what if we just did it again, but this time combined all of the cats? <laughs> oh, that's not the right one. Is this a good bonus? No, it's not. Okay. If it was a good bonus, I would have done it. If that had been XP, chat, I would have been like, we're going in finally. Sorry about that. So we're almost there. So I think I can combine one, two, three, four, five, six, and get our first level 1000 monster. I don't feel like this is an exaggeration. I think we could do it. I just have to not kill them by accident, which is going to be easier said than done, to be honest with you. Our counterattacks are going to be so nasty. Yeah, this character is like literally invincible. I don't even think they can do more than like 200. Oh, barely. Oh, you normal attack me? That was foolish. <laughs> right, chat? Foolish. You're actually dead. Hmm. So I think what we need to do is sacrifice some people. Let's bring you... Is there a way to do this without killing all my characters? Um... It's not the one I wanted to throw to. It's actually kind of annoying. That weapon they have on could be a problem for us. That's why I say that. I was trying to throw them there. I guess I could still go for it. Bring you here. Bring you here. Now they're the same level as me. Now I can bring in a level 1000 or so. But I think before I do that... 
I'm gonna try killing these characters. We'll bring in one other character just to tank briefly. Let's see what happens. This might be good enough. Honestly, I think that went fine. I need to make sure these other monsters die, and then we can finish them off. Zero. That's fine. I mean, if they keep pushing me out of harm's way, I'm not gonna say no, right chat? So we just gotta hit them a couple times, and then they'll be nice and killable. They love doing that. So if we can hit him a couple more times, we should be able to capture. We're almost at that point. Perfect. So this one is on the verge of death. I might accidentally kill them, but we still have a backup character, so it doesn't really matter. As long as we don't kill the backup character, we're fine. All right, so now we have a character that should be killable. Get them like a little lower. I love the 83 wind resistance, by the way. Like, okay. So we need one character to just walk over and pick him up. I think I should make Calvisham, to be honest. Now we just need to do a little more damage, then we'll go for the kill. We go for the kill next turn, potentially, I'm just thinking about it. So we need our attack to be way higher, for sure. I can afford one buff without doing anything differently. I think that damage was absolutely worth it. Doing almost 5,000 more damage, I think chat would agree. That's kind of worth. I'm gonna get one last set of buffs. So most of these characters should be able to damage the enemy. So yeah, now I've very drastically reduced their health. Let's try to go for a capture here. I need two more to throw. I can throw you in here now if I want to. I can have two more come out. So I think what I want to do is... Oh, so stressful. Um... I think anything that boosts my odds of survival, I think a declare there just makes sense. Right, chat? We've seen that they drain in health. So if I can survive even one more hit, that might make a difference. And then I want to make sure Chris is not in here if he's in here, because he's 100% going to die. We're going to move Chris out. I'm going to hit them with a little bit of star. Hopefully this does not kill. Okay, so that's fine. So we even wounded him just a little more. We did not get greedy, chat. We, we pushed it really far down. This should work. If they- if she wins, I'm gonna be so mad. Cause that means I could've maybe Giga starred. I hope she dies here though. Seriously? She lived by 500? Are you kidding? 
Man, we got cheated. <laughs> we got cheated. <laughs> really? I can't believe that, chat. So if she had been at a thousand health, we would have won. So irritating. I'm so sad, chat. So she has to get really low. I love Chris getting the kill, though. I gotta reset, sadly. So now we know. We need her at a low, lower than a thousand. We'll do it again. So we know we can do it. We know it's possible. I just didn't get them low enough. That's why I... Oh, I keep doing the wrong one. So that's what I was saying before. It's not like an exact science. We're very close, though. So 1,100 is fine. If we had not merged the one with the weapon, I think also that would have been fine. So I could probably do something like... I could try to do this earlier and see if this works better. We definitely have enough buff targets. Like, it's not a question of whether we had enough damage. I could do something like... Is this XP? Oh, it is. Okay. So now this time I'm going to have more of a buff too. So we're going to have up to Braveheart 5 if I want to. I probably do. Which also makes a big difference. And we're going to put most of them away. We're gonna have most of our remaining character. I mean, 10,000 is still pretty good, but I think we get stronger here. Um, probably want to combine a couple of these preemptively. That way I don't accidentally kill them. It also reduces how many characters we lose by just reducing how many people actually hit us. Something like this could work. And notice she doesn't have a super weapon, which also makes a big difference. So maybe this will work? I, my only concern is still killing her by accident, because our stats are insane. <laughs> Damn, we need to wound her a lot more. This should keep most of our mages safe, actually. Which is kind of huge. You can see, we're just kind of going in one-shot city. And now we could just clean up the ones that are not super high level. I could do something like this. Pretty good. Put two away. I probably want to take this kill with this. Keep up our buff with Braveheart here. Hopefully they don't go in a counter war. I'm going to get very sad. Please don't counter war me. Okay, that's fine. Rip our mages. So now I just need to wound them a little more, which I think I could do here. So we know we need to get them very low before I throw them. Uh... How little damage can I do is the question and not kill them. Um... Woo! <laughs> Alright chat, woo! Fan it down! So I- oh, they're like a little lower level for some reason. I guess the other ones were worth a bit less. I could combine them with the 256. Which I guess there's no downside to doing right now. Yeah, let, let's combine them. Yeah, they're gonna hit the mage, because of course they are. 
now we just need to do some big damage, so... I really wish I could see how much damage I'm going to do to them. So I could throw them in. I have only one character that could do this. I think it's good enough. Ooh, it's so good. Oh, there's such a strong possibility I'm going to kill them by accident. Uh, uh, please don't normal attack me. Oh, okay, thank you. <laughs> it's like, I was going to be so sad. I need to hit them for a little more damage. Um, Put you back in. still have too much health. I think I'm gonna hit you with this character. That's better. We've seen it matters. Like, we have to get them low. Please don't one-shot him. Oh, the... No, the counter-attack! No, the counter-attack! Oh, no! That might have messed it up. Oh, I'm gonna go for it, but that really sucks. I was really hoping we were not gonna counter-attack. Damn. That might be GG there. That alone is kind of bad. I gotta go for it. Yeah, we need a Kirk alive, I think, but we'll try. I got them lower than before. But that, that might be GG, because I lost Kirk. Please kill. Oh, I got the capture. Oh, I got the capture. Okay, we're good. We're still in. I can only summon one person, though. Okay, we're good. We now have a level 1,000 VS monster. Uh, you're still at 12,000 health. Have a flan. Hey, it's over, chat. We got an achievement for whatever we just did. I'm assuming you just destroy the enemy. Yeah, we're almost one-shotting them. Honestly, at this point, I might steal some equipment from them. Just to give our monsters more damage. What's your weapon like? That's the attack again. Nice. <laughs> right, chat? It's free stats. I might as well do it. That feeling when they could barely hurt you. Get out of here. Now we're climbing. Now I might consider doing the item world. Just, just look at that chat. What can they do? It's over. Get out of here. Can you imagine if I finally get a real weapon? Keep in mind, chat, we're still using like 700 damage weapons. The weapon I'm going to aim for is probably going to be at least Dragonheart, which is 937 attack. I'm hoping to get way better, though. Goodbye. Our money total should be kind of silly. Just a little bit. Back up to two mil. <laughs> so expensive to do, holy. Oh my gosh, chat, here it comes. I'm gonna get rid of that. Oh my gosh, chat. If we had more stat boosters, holy. But 10,000 hit, 7k defense. What are these stats, chat? <laughs> Three counters? Yeah, okay. It's like we're already at max damage. See, now if we go to fight Etna mode, <laughs> right, chat? I think this character genuinely could solo the entirety of Etna mode. 7,000 defense, I believe. Holy. What a, what a combo. You know what the dumb part is, chat? You know I could still get another upgrade, right? Because, like, we saw Sophie's Mirror from the lower ranks. Hold on a second. We're, we're, we're going to check real quick. Can I get another Sophie's Mirror? That would actually be a massive stat boost for me. Oh, Moonlight. Who cares about that? <laughs> so anyway, we have our first, first level 1,000. So that means we could start getting our first level 2,000 or so. As I said before, it scales kind of funky. 
Oh, I forgot to get Bandit Hand back. Holy. I mean, at this point, I guess I just walk them forward, right? I mean, what... Can they even hurt this character? With double testament on? I don't think so. Nope. Oh, barely. Barely, chat. <laughs> wow, this, this, this is just getting kind of embarrassing for them. Big damage. Um, I guess there's no reason to not combine these together. Maybe they'll survive a turn against my other character? I don't know why I threw that one short. That was definitely a skill issue. I realized I did this in the wrong order. That's fine. I don't think it'll matter in the long run. I can combine those two characters if I want to. I probably do. I want to kill you, and I can move over here, and I can summon Parameter, Chris, Fry. I definitely want my super melees here, which should not involve our protagonist for the most part anymore. So sorry, Kirk. It's kind of hard to you on the same power level. I wish I could get rid of 6 feet under here. Go for a brave heart boost here. One, two, three. So again, overall our stats are sadly we have to buff the 6 feet under, but we now have 23,000 attack. We have a 12k attack in the in here, which is good. Hopefully I don't accidentally kill the other one. Damn, they really wanted a parameter dead on that one. Okay, I'm gonna put one mage away. I'm gonna Mystic Blast the rest of these. Good call. So if we can get it down to just one, I should be fine. Damage. More worried about accidentally killing the other one, to be honest. Let's see what happens. Let's go over here. Oh, stop meleeing me. You can do your special skills. That I don't care about. You're dead. Alright, so this one's almost in kill range. So I could get another super high level one if I want to. So I probably do. Right, chat? Might as well have two. So I killed one more than I thought I did, which is fine. So that should just be an auto capture at this point. Definitely want to weaken them a little more. Should just win with the Nekomata and the base. Oh, the miss. That's so sad, the miss. Alright. So I didn't quite combine that right, but that's fine. It should still kill. 
if we somehow lose this, I'm gonna roll my eyes. I'm gonna be like, listen, there's one that's their level in there already. Yeah, darn right, I captured another enemy. Alright, let me go get my healing items. So now we need to figure out a way to combine all of them efficiently and then throw them in. And then we're basically good to go. So I need one of these. Bandit Hand is really good. We now have two level 1000, so that means I can just kind of double team them as much as I want. Where is the teriyaki? I mean, not teriyaki, the uh, eclair. Need more eclair. Good. How's our healing looking like now? Basically back at full? Okay. Don't think I need a Bloody Mary anymore, so I'll just have another eclair. We got our bandit hands back, but I'm gonna need a lot more for later. That might be good enough. Now we have a slightly higher level version of the other character. And they're a blue character, so they should just have better stats on top of that. Yeah, so this one's just ever so slightly better. So yeah, at this point, I should be able to capture basically anything that I want. So we now have two really high-level monsters in here. So I might not even need to buff anymore. I probably captured one more than I needed to since I messed things up. But... Actually, what I could do, one more thing. If I could get a better monster weapon here before I go to the item world, that would be huge. Um, better. You know what, we'll take that. I, I mean, honestly, Chad, having an 1100 attack character as a backup, I think I'm kind of okay with that. We have one spare he item for the next character. So overall, our damage just dealing them to people we capture should be insane. So now the goal is to combine as many of them as possible, since we now have multiple characters at a high level. So let's see, this will be 400, 600. This will be 1,200, plus another 400. So I could maybe get a, potentially up to a level 2,000 right now. I think that's kind of worth going for. So we have a lot of super movement, and I don't think I need a lot of buffs. I could do something like this. This would also free up my characters from exploding, which also makes a big difference. I could do something like... We... Let's go around the world! <laughs> right, chat? You, you know it's bad when I'm just like, let's just combine all of them because they can no longer defeat me. Right, chat? I mean, that's basically what just happened. I'm like, okay. Cool. And then I can combine them into this character. They're already 1300. I think we can make them stronger. Right, chat? Like, yeah. I mean, look, they only have, a, they only have 1100 attack. I don't care about that. So what we're gonna do is... I guess bring out our two strongest characters get some buffs going actually i could do something like this maybe this will work i don't think i could get one shot with the other characters so they should not prioritize that let's make sure chris and calvisham are out of there or not calvisham uh parameter The next turn, we should be able to... So they should not be able to kill that many, because two of them in the back row can't even be reached. I'm not really worried about this. We even chipped the super enemy, because by, by the fact that it tanked that tells me it's the super enemy. 
who also doesn't have a weapon due to how I merged them. So I could probably merge them again into 1800 pretty safely here. Now it's just a question of how many buffs can I get going. Probably get rid of you. Get one more set of super buffs on. This is a lot of brave heart I'm adding in. Then I can return these two back. So I already have, like, a pretty strong one in the base. Now I just need to kill the remaining ones. Should be pretty easy. Given that I literally one-shot. Alright, so what I can do is protect whoever survived. It was Chris. And let's go make sure that these other characters die. I could, in theory, combine the last monster, but... I don't know if I want to risk it, to be honest. If they're going to die, I might do it. Never mind, I can't, I can't do that anymore. So now it's just a slugfest between these two characters, which is fine. We just need to summon one monster, and we can. What we could do is keep the buffs going by doing something like this. And then using Delta Kick to make sure that I can't be reached. So that way it undoes a lot of my Braveheart falling off. And then I can finally have RJ Chaos gain a level. Alright, so I'm just gonna Delta Kick you. That should keep our team safe. Thank you, Delta Kick. <laughs> we're, we're gonna move over here a little more, right, chat? Just a little bit more, a little out of range. We're gonna keep your stats up. And if this character takes damage, it doesn't matter. We have a backup character in the base. Do you know what I mean? Like, this is fine. Good 20,000 damage. Please don't counterattack again. Oh. Oh. Right, chat? So close. So now we can put you back in the base. So we have yet another character to potentially take them out. So we have two super characters. And we still have a whole bunch of other characters. So we should still be fine. Um, I guess to try to guarantee that we get the XP finally for RJ Chaos, I will put RJ Chaos here. And we need probably Chris to wound just a little more. Because we've seen sometimes we get cheated by like just the stupidest amounts. Um go for another attack here as well. As long as I can throw in the end, I don't think it matters. So it should be something like this. So we'll have Chris. We'll make a fire, which shouldn't do that much damage because this thing has super high resist. Then hurricane slash into a toss. Oh, I, I barely did any damage, but you know what? That's all that matters. Let's see if this works. I got another Steam achievement. I'm assuming with a mostly level character, we should be fine. Yeah, that should be fine. We didn't get much hell because I didn't technically kill them. By the way, what level is RJ Chaos now? 23. <laughs> there we go, Chad. I can finally use RJ Chaos. Uh, yeah, we now have a 1600 monster. You might be seeing where this is going. We can now combine all of those monsters for a super monster. Also, that was a lot of hell to recover. Did you like that I spent, like, 600,000 hell to heal them? Holy. Yeah, we might have to just start getting legit kills so I can heal. I might I might legitimately have to clear a stage because I'm out of money. Oops. I wanted it on. Actu actually disgusting amounts of damage. <laughs> Uh, do I have another weapon? I do. Oof. Game is getting a little confused what I was trying to get it to do.
here. Yeah, so now we have two really high static characters in here. To the point where, as I said before, I might have to clear for money. So now, we have all we need to really just kind of clear item world. I have a few low, like 1,000 characters. Ideally, I'm going to get like a 2,200 something and then we're going to go into item world. And at this point, I can almost spiral out of control. Curiosity, can I finally clear this? Clearing this would also help me significantly. I need money. I mean, technically that's money. Unironically, I think I could just win with the three monsters I have here. I just... I think we're good. I don't really want to capture them. Like, I could, but I don't think they're that useful. I have no desire to have tanks. I, I only want damage, and the Nekomatos are really good at damage. The only other enemy type that I might get if we get towards the end of this is I want to have access to uh, the Sword Slasher. So we're like halfway there, believe it or not. We we had to get over the initial hump of getting our first monster, but now I should be able to get like at least a level 3000 or higher without that much effort. And then from there, it's just like one or two more captures and I should be at 6000. So we are scaling really harshly. And I think with this many brave hearts, I think I just completely beat their defense now. And again, imagine if you could actually do this with a human character. You just winged slayer this group of enemies, or you just like Omega, whatever, to kill them. Uh, but yeah, we're definitely just gonna double up. Or in this case, can twin tuple up our brave hearts. So I'd like to clear this for money, and also because we need to clear Cave War deals at some point anyway. We're now at 23,000, 38,000. So I could do nonsense like this. I mean, just look at this devastation chat. Look at this. So I could feed kills to Chris if Chris survives the turn. I could even combine them at this point. Sure, why not? Let's combine one of these. Well, actually. Never mind, Chris can't deal 12, get through 12,000 resists. It's fine. As much as I want to steal, uh, steal away a kill, I don't think it's going to happen. Did you just normal attack a Nekomata? Are you stupid? Oh, you're actually stupid, GG. Actually dumb. <laughs> Chat, they can't even hurt me. Look at this. It's over. Bonk. 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 <laughs> Look at this, chat. Like, what? No. You don't want to get an encounter war with these characters. No. Fools. I mean, maybe Kirk can get a kill here? Maybe. I could try to go for it. He'll need all the buffs he can get, though. If Kirk dies, Kirk dies. Listen. And depending on how many enemies I kill, I might actually be able to use them to get the uh, area unlocked. Although, I don't really need to. Let's see, can Kirk get a kill? No. <laughs> to give you an idea how overpowered they are, chat, I could not even remotely kill them, even with those buffs. But on the plus side... Wow, our 626 level? Mm -mm -mm. I mean, hey, if they level up, chat, listen. This just makes monster capturing easier. So Kirk can't kill them, but they can't kill Kirk. I guess that works. Well, anyway, this stage is now completable. Goodbye. By the way, look at our money. Look at our money from this chat. Yeah, that seems fair. <laughs> so just one more clear of that and I can basically buy the best possible stuff. Yeah, this is also what I was saying before. I don't really care about Broker or Statistician for late game. 
just does not matter to me, like, in the slightest. We're gonna play Cave of Ordeal, and that solves all of our problems. Now, question. This is a bonus rank area of 45. What kind of monstrous, disgusting items can we get from this? We did lose progress due to the power outage, so that last match did not count, even though we were literally on the verge of winning. So sad. Oh, Cleave is also a star of Destiny. I know, we got robbed so bad. Like, we were legit- oh, we were legit one strike from finishing when the power surge happened. Sucks. I did get a new sword, though. Not that it's useful here. Alright, so let's see. What did we learn from last time? I should only combine two of these into one, and then it's more reasonable. So with that in mind, I wonder if... Let me just get all my high stack characters out of the way. Oh, show us the pig has been found. Oh, there's Missile. Missile's a little off-screen. I might have to fix him later. Okay, so I want to set up for a capture, so I'm going to bring in all of our best characters. I think this character is technically our best. Wait, did we have another character with stats? Oh, I have these. This has gone on a little journey. Yeah. I'm not sure why he's so off-center, but we'll fix it later. So what we're going to do, we're going to set up for a big turn. Only this time I'm going to Braveheart five characters. Which I think makes a big difference, because honestly, we were only missing by a couple thousand damage. So anything we could do to become stronger here, I think is worth it. And then we're going to put most of the characters back. The 38,000 characters, insane. So I think it's worth combining... Get our 9 movement character, because that's actually somehow relevant. And throw them here. Check their level. We can throw one more, and I think it's fine. Do something like this. And what I could do in the meantime is throw these two together, but not merge them, and just absolutely dumpster them with this character, and it should be fine. Lost by 200 damage, are you serious? Okay, well, we need to do something, even if it's just this character. No, I need a, I need a strong character. Alright, we need the Poisoners out. That's what it comes down to. If the Poisoners are gone, I'm not that worried. Oh, I pulled the axe. Oh, I pulled the pig by accident. That's kind of unfortunate. Hopefully we have a couple survivors here. We do. Okay. So I could put at least one survivor away. So I could throw, guaranteed. That means I could bring in my high-level character. Put him over here. Come through here, delete these. I still have another summon, right? Yeah, I do. Okay, so I can afford to lose one character here without an issue. Let's go ahead and do so. Parameter, put a parameter more in the corner so he's less likely to get one shot. Way, so I'm less likely to get hit. Well, the other enemy didn't even move because we just straight up went out of range. Oh, they hit a parameter from there, that sucks. So let's go take advantage of this by just killing all of them. Honestly, as long as we can summon at least 
one mage, which we can. We should be able to keep our buffs back up. Perfect. Now there's a lot less for us to worry about. If I can pull the pig, we're good. What I can do is... We know health matters. I'm actually going to heal up here. Because them being at full health might actually make a big difference. Now we summon in Parameter. Wait. Oh, and Parameter died. Uh, well, then we'll summon the other mage. As long as I keep Braveharting them, I should slowly gain in stats. So basically, stop the Braveheart loss now. Now we need to kill the pig, and then we're good. So we're back up to, like, an okay amount. And if I need to, I can put the other character away, which I probably should. Yeah, I feel like if I have one more mage, let's get, uh... I think Archie Chaos can actually help us here. Thank you, Archie Chaos. We did it. Bring your attack power up. We need to kill the pig. We're good to go. Nice normal attacks. Perfect. Here, make them work for it. I'm scared that he's gonna die. Do I have any other mages? I don't. Oh, I don't want to get Mega Tongue crushed. Man, I wish this spray part was a little better. Um, I could risk it. I think I'd probably want to stand him here. Okay, this, sh this should have negated all the loss I got from Braveheart, but more likely than not, RJ Chaos is dead here. Yeah, that's fine. So I need one more solid hit, and this should just kill them. Put them back in here. So my highest health character is almost dead, but this character is almost dead too. And again, if I clear the stage by accident, it's fine. So I should definitely be able to get a kill here. Now the big threat is gone. I should be weak enough that I don't one-shot here. I might die here. Oh, they didn't die. Um... Doing 5,000 there, I think, is exactly what we needed. Right, chat? I think between these three characters, I think this should be fine. They're not the highest attack that we could have, but I also know that we're going to win no matter what at this point. This should be fine. There we go. Yeah, he got bopped in the face, chat. Look at that money total. Chat, look at that money total. Oh! There we go. Just a casual, what was that, 5 mil? Hmm. Anyway. Just casual 5 mil, don't mind. Alright, chat, I think it's time. We need to get uh, more expensive items in here. Also, do you like that this character has barely been in the party and they have 6,666 mana? This is also why mana doesn't matter. After a while. I mean, like, they just... 6666, chat. I don't have anything else to say. On the plus side, I can use basically anybody that I want here. Let's get more expensive stuff. Would, would they dare not approve? <laughs> All right, chat. Will they dare not do it? You better approve. I'll, I'll destroy you. <laughs> right, chat. I will actually dunk you. <laughs> get out of here. So anyway, now we can have a super monster weapon for the monster we just grabbed. So we might as well see what we could buy here. Yeah, they better yay us. Alright, we do a little better than 800. As I said before, we're going to get a stronger weapon soon. 
by diving into the item world, but I would like to get a slightly higher level character first. Come on, a little better. Yolnir. Why is Mjolnir a staff? Gladiator, dietitian, manager. Sure, why not? Why not, chat? Oh, oh my gosh, chat, did you see the stat difference? Holy, it's over. Oh no, chat, it's so over. Look, why does... Uh, chat, why does Testament add almost a thousand to them? What is this? Uh, okay, I mean, that's one way to do it, I guess. Well, this character is as strong as the other characters were, so I could just leave them in the base for capturing. I think we can now get like a 30 or a 3,000 or a 25,000 or whatever. It's starting to scale out of control, as I said earlier. I think it can afford to be a little greedier now that we have this. It's actually a good weapon. I could see what the final one is. I don't know if it really matters. I think we need to capture better here. So now we just have a generically really good character. So capturing should be very easy. And obviously we have Super Doolahan here who doesn't care about anything. I think the way to go is we're just going to start with our super buffs. Because honestly, all of these characters in Powered is pretty much GG. I love that 6,000 is like on the low end. We're like, oh, it's only 6,000. <laughs> right, chat? Just, oh, what a, what a shame. You know what? We'll, oh no, RJ Chaos can't multi-target yet. Soon. Actually, I better not do that because I want to throw them in. Yeah, at this point, you know, our damage should just be stupid broken. There's not much the game can do anymore. And again, like, we could have leveled our human characters, but why? We're just so much stronger like this. Get one more buff character here. So we're going to put most of the characters back, so the 600 can go back, the 1100 can go back, the 1197 can go back. And let's uh, start combining some people with our remaining throws. Let's do one... I love that this character is not movement chat. I can't- I can't not f- I cannot emphasize enough how important that is with our current build to just be able to do stuff like that. And I can throw him over here for an 1800. I could combine them again as well. Do I go straight for the 2400 is the question. Hmm. I'm, I'm sorry, he has how much damage? <laughs> chat, chat, excuse me? Um, yeah, I think he'll be fine. If I just leave him in the base, I don't think it matters. Put you two away. So I could try to throw these two into each other and capture, because then that would give us up to 2600. This might be greedy. You're I'm not fine, sure. Open. Well, thank you, Wolf Vanquish, for following. And hey, our follower alerts are finally working again. Uh... Oh, chat, you only have 20,000? Oh, whatever. <laughs> right, chat? Whatever. Anyway. Let's go around stomping these characters from existence real quick. Hope you're doing well, Wolfang. We're about to witness an NPC murder. You know what? There is a surprising amount of them that will live this. As in, some actually survived that. I'm more impressed by that than anything else, Chad. I don't know about you. Like, wait a minute. They got a turn? So this character just needs to be wounded, so I think we just need to, uh... Take care of these guys real quick. <laughs> just 
straight up 41k some jeez. I'll bring in the weaker of them just to finish it off. Yeah, it's important we got the poisoner out of the way. Hopefully you're doing well, Wolfang. Don't instantly kill the other character. Great, that didn't happen. Love it when we don't instantly die. Right, Chad? It's always a good feeling when we don't just cease to exist upon this mortal plane, you know? And then we can uh, stop our hemorrhaging attack power by just bravehearting. So we'll be down, we'll not be at quite 50,000, but it's like whatever, honestly. And we're gonna do Mystic Blast into, you know what, let's see the skills. We haven't seen them in a while. We'll do probably Blade Frenzy. Let's see what we're using on them. Okay. So that basically kills them by themselves. So one more Blade Frenzy and I think we're good. Oh, that is so risky to make it go lower. I don't think we should. Hopefully the doesn't auto attack me here or that's gonna make me so sad. Please don't auto attack me. No, you fool, you fool. So sad. Right, chat. That's the downside. Maybe we need to capture one more of these just so I don't have a character with counter attacks. That is the downside. When you when you just counter them from existence. Oh. I got them to like the perfect hell, but it was too perfect. Damn. So we lost some time there, because I accidentally killed them. Oh well. I mean, I might as well just send our god unit in. I mean, what can they even do against this character? He definitely can solo the entire game. He even needs Braveheart at this point. Although he also is counter too, so that probably would have happened regardless. So we unfortunately got AI'd. Where the AI just decided to do the only thing that would kill it, even though it's like infinite SP. If it had done any other skill, by the way, Chad, it would have lived. It just literally needed to just not normal attack. So sad. So I'm going to clear the stage. Our bonus is super bonus, whatever that means. Oh, we're like 13 mil. Oh, because I killed the guy that was leveled. Oh. Yeah, that would do that. <laughs> right, Chad, I'm at 3, 6, 13 million. I think that's how that math works. Chad, remember when we had money issues? <laughs> we're, we're in post-game territory now. We don't have to play by any of the rules. I would like another super weapon. Come on, we could do better. You could get to a thousand attack. I believe in you. Apparently, my, my faith was misplaced. That's what I'm learning. Oh, come on. This guy at RNG, please. You could do it. This guy at please. There are two high rank weapons. I do not see them still. Um, that could have been over a thousand attack had it rolled with Gladiator. We'll do like two more resets and then we'll move on. I mean, if the game doesn't want to give it to you, I mean, what do you do? So the five million weapon and the six million both can go over a thousand attack, which is better than what I could probably do with the other weapon choice, to be honest. Because Lucifer's, I think, is at around a thousand, unless I get a rare version of Lucifer's. I will take that, but I want another weapon that's better than them. How does this keep happening, Jan? It's so sad. We have all this money, but the shop refuses to roll. Come on, you can do it. I'm even gonna hit max rank on viable items too. How did- how? Game, please. Gladiator's not even rare. No. No, that also would have been a, a thousand attack. We've got how? How does this keep happening? I'm so sad, chat. Fine, I'll get two of these items. Chat, whatever. Anyway, let's just, I guess, improve ourselves slightly. That is a massive attack increase slash difference.
I mean, I think this is probably good enough then. Even if the game doesn't want to give us what we need, I think this is fine. But yeah, we got a gun earlier. I might as well give it to Calvisham. It is actually a very high amount of hit percentage. Maybe it'll make a difference. Okay, we're gonna try again, and hopefully we don't accidentally counterattack the thing that we're trying to take. Actually, speaking of which... Since we've seen the stat multipliers are kind of insane, why don't I just buy some things that buff all stats? Is there anything that buffs attack in here? Reaper's Cloak is actually tempting. Yeah, like that alone might be good enough. Right, chat? Like, ah! Use a little bit of speed, maybe. Could be bad for us. Kind of like improving our defenses a little across the board. Might be good enough. Also, I don't need this other Vajra or whatever the swords are. We, we just literally don't need them anymore. I don't really care about them. Although, maybe the 580 is an upgrade for one of our characters, like Laharl? No, not quite. Almost. So we're gonna try again, but this time with, like, actual super stats. I don't want to sell Common Orb, because that's how we were advancing the plot. Which, by the way, <laughs> eventually we could go back to the plot. We've already beaten the game, but... Right, I'm feeling pretty good about this. I've now improved everybody's stats significantly. Please do not accidentally kill these people. Yeah, there's technically like a bonus story we haven't seen. We'll, we'll probably end our stream at some point doing those. I'll see if I could get a bonus stream in tomorrow, maybe. To get that out of the way, since we're a little behind because I accidentally... Well, one, I lost power. <laughs> but two, I accidentally killed my target, so that wasted like a good 20 minutes. Yeah, with all these... Oh, that's a big difference in stats. See, we have RJ Chaos as our backup buff character if we're doing builds, right? And now we have enough strong characters that I think we could do whatever we want in the item world by, like, a long shot. So eventually we'll go into Sophie's Mirror. I think it'll be soon. As I said before, I want to end the stream with the item world. Okay, so we're going to put most of the characters back. Probably want to do one. That nine movement is so good, chat. Oh my gosh. I'm so happy I bought those sneakers. I was wondering, like, oh, am I really going to use it in this playthrough? And the answer is absolutely. I used it all the time. So if I could combine these two, this would be... Maybe too weak? Maybe I actually combine them further. Honestly, only 2,500 with this character's stats? I think I could do better. You can see this character doesn't have any long-range attacks, which is kind of annoying for clears. Yeah, let's at least get him up to 2,500. Do I think I could take a 3,000? I guess I could try to find out. All right, chat, let's see if we can deal with this. Like, honestly, his stats aren't even that crazy. Like, ours are way more broken. Right? Like, R1930 matches that character. 
So as long as everybody doesn't die here, I should be fine. Although, I might lose everybody here, now that I say that. Wait, somebody lived? Okay. Two people lived, that's actually huge. Now I can bring in my super soldier. Now I have three people for buffs, but this also means I could just walk around in one shot. Alright, so if we steal that guy, that's a massive level increase for us. A normal attack, which is the best case scenario for us. So we just need to stomp these remaining enemies out of existence and then come back on this guy. Come on. One more attack is great there. I'm gonna get the good counter attack. I think our attack power is a little low now. I think we need to start attacking more aggressively here. Let's do something like... Played into... Delta Kick. And then what I can do is summon a super mage at a distance to start statting up us a little bit. I might lose the other character, but we still have multiple characters at high level. So I'm not i I'm still not worried about this. So if this character dies, it's fine. As long as he kills this guy. Which he did. Now it's just down to weakening this guy up a bit more. What I can even try to do to help the other character survive is try to hit them with an eclair. Oh, too much. I tried. The other guy dying, it might be too hard. We'll see. Big difference here is that I can do something like Braveheart into a Delta Kick into walking backwards. So we need to hit him um, three more times, I think. Let's move out of the way. Which causes him to not be able to hit us, which is interesting. But I could heal here during this time if I need to. So I might as well do that, actually. Right, chat? We've seen health matters, so I might as well just buff up. I mean, if you're just gonna let me do this, I'm just gonna do this. I'm not gonna say no. Alright, so we're now much stronger. Not too bad. I'll take the again. How much damage does he have left to go? Another 5,000 or so. The so one more solid kick without a buff to do it. I might even let myself debuff a little here. Just so I can heal. This might be the right call. It's not who I meant to heal, but that's fine. We got turns. So if I let my buff wear off for two turns, I shouldn't kill. And then I'll have extra health. Yeah, that's a lot of extra stats to potentially survive. So now it doesn't kill, but now I need to make sure. Please don't counterattack. No! Why did. Okay, okay. If that had killed, I would have been so tilted. 
I would have been so tilted chat, you have no idea. <laughs> it's like, that's the second time we had him at like death's door and he's like, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna choose to die. <laughs> right chat, like that is multiple times that has happened. Holy, why does this keep happening? So now we should be able to capture him. I know, it's like they can sense me trying to cheese them. So rude. Alright, so we're gonna make sure our attack power is as good as, as good as possible. So you can see it's slowly going up. I'm trying to heal them as much as I can. Although sadly I probably yeah, I ran out of healing items, so we'll see what happens. It's better than nothing, because we've seen health matters. So now their attack power is not terrible. We have a 27,000. We could do a little better here, I think. So next turn, I'm going to Braveheart and walk them in. That way we have as mu basically as much power as I think we could squeeze out of it. So I tried. They're back up to 2,600, which is way better than where they were earlier. And actually what I can end up doing to speed this up a little is we know that going into the gate will not result in us losing any stats. So I could just do this. Right, chat? Now that we know the enemy's not moving, right? Like, listen, we can take as much time as we want now. Yeah, so suddenly that's much better, right, chat? 33,000 versus 23,000. Let's see, did you max on Braveheart yet? I think now you did. Is there any other character I feel like buffing? I mean, we might as well as. Can I buff your attack power anymore? Nope. There's no reason to not play this safe, right, chat, at this point? I might as well go for it. Parameter holding it down with the constant brave hearts. So we now have a lot of buff characters, so all we need to do... Probably get this character up to like 9,000 or so, it might be strong enough. Because I think the game just checks our attack versus his defense, and his defense is high. Yeah, this is definitely better than nothing. So getting around 10,000 attack might matter. That is not an insignificant amount. On the plus side, if Parameter's meter gain is out of control right now, okay, so 10,000 is the max. I could try to level Kirk's damage a couple times. Actually, I'll, I'll level Vakas a couple. As I said before, I am in no rush. We're we're at a we're at a point where as if I don't rush this, we win. So if anything will put us the put us that last little bit higher, I'm going to try. We know about the the gate uh, the base gimmicks. If we could steal this, this is basically cutting out I don't know like 30 hours of grinding by spending 20 minutes. I right, could do one more buff I think. Yeah, we now have some pretty strong overall characters. This will be my last buff turn, I think. Uh, I mean, I can make it a little higher. As I said before, I, I, I'm not in a super rush. Alright, let's see if that works. So we basically doubled their attack. Now all we need to do is... I'm gonna put Imperameter in there just because he has health. I think honestly. Oh, that's a lot of bonus experience. I might have. 
RJ Chaos trying to finish it. Alright, they're very low on health. Please kill. I put... I got another achievement. In Parameter, having extra health might matter. Maybe? Please capture and kill. Please. No! No, it was so close. No, it's so sad. All that setup didn't mean anything. Damn, we ruined his SP, but we couldn't kill him. Oh, well. Sorry about that, chat. That is so sad. We were so close. I hate not knowing the exact formula for this stuff. I do apologize. It is kind of like a, as I said before, a bit of a test. But I think I know what to do now. So 3,000 is too strong. So let's just go a little under 3,000 and we should be fine. So how can we get slightly under 3,000? So we get 700, 1,300, 1,900, 25. So I could combine instead of with four, I could combine with three and that should be pretty free. It just looks like maybe their the raw stats of the enemies was too high. But on the plus side, if we capture this enemy, I think we could go straight into the item world and wrap things up. So close. Uh... Wanna do that yet? Let's do... I'm gonna make them work for who they want to kill, chat. I'm gonna make them work. Parameter's gonna and Chris are gonna go on opposite ends. <laughs> Be like, good luck, enemies. Pick your targets. So we were close, but I think they just had slightly too high of a defense total. So with one set of levels less, I think we're fine. Assuming I don't kill them instantly. Alright, so we have mages that are not really near anything, which is good. I could put most of them away. Hmm? I feel like his attack is lower than it was before. I must have missed with Braveheart or something. Oh well. Uh, let's see. So let's bring you here. Our nine movement character saving the day. So 3,000 was too ambitious. Let's go for one level under. We'll do... Something like this. Or I could combine those two. So those two combined are only... 2,500? I think that's fine. 2,500 should be good enough. Let's do... Ready to throw him. Yeah, so just... So as long as I do this properly, this shouldn't be bad. Just thinking about that, I could just throw him like this, right? That would be the smarter choice. Yeah, so now he's only 2,500. I think that should be fine. So yeah, he's got way less stats. Alright, so he's 600 levels weaker. This should be fine. Hopefully we have a couple survivors here, but I kind of doubt. Actually, we had more than one mage survive? Wow. Good job, Imperameter. Your levels mattered. Now we have three characters to do whatever we want, so we might as well just go around one-shotting everything. Try to kill you as quick as we can. The less poison or nonsense we can have interfering with us, the better at this point. 
So we've eliminated poison as an issue of losing. Okay, taking a little damage there kind of sucks, but not the end of the world. Leave our 1600 in there for the fights. Have Chris or... Oh no, Parameter's poison. Well, if Chris could basically go full screen and Braveheart... Troller. Troller was on a magical journey there, Chad. It was like, you want to go all the way over there, right? And I'm like, no? Okay, so that'll keep their buffs up. And then I can Delta Kick to make this character more annoying. So basically half health did. Hmm. Twenty two hundred. Down to five thousand. So right now, I think we could win. I just don't want to auto-attack him by accident, so I'm going to move the characters out of range. Let's try to get our buffs back up. Then what I can do is... We have to make sure our other character that's buffed actually goes back in the base, just okay. So he's going to be back at 4100, put him back in the base, put her back in the base, put you back in the base, and turn. Then what I can do is have these characters come out again. And now their attack power is starting to look correct. I have you use an eclair health matters. As we saw before, health matters. We're gonna get it. Oh! That could have been so much worse, but I think I'll take it. That's a lot of stats we just added back on the characters. Let's put them in. <laughs> Move Chris, like, or... Yeah, move Chris to more spaces. Should put him out of range. And one more turn of buffs, and then I think we're good. Please actually kill this time. All right, chat, we, we have almost a 5100 5, in there. Although I think we saw it can go to 5100. So let's actually do that, because we keep missing it by like the just smallest amounts. In case this actually matters, make sure these characters get a little more buffs. There we go. That looks so much better. So before, we didn't have the super attacker in there. Now we do. And what we can do is... Take a, take a random character and parameter back inside. Heal what we can with Eclair. This is better than nothing. Heal what we can with Eclair. This is better than nothing. So now their stats are, you know, probably not in one shot range, maybe? Put them back in. Throw. Please take over. We need this. If we have this, I'll do item world. There we go. Look how much faster that was. Oh, look at that. We barely, we didn't even take damage that time. Chat, whatever. <laughs> you know what? Without smooth that one, we're going one more. <laughs> we're getting one more in there, and then we're going item world. I'm like, listen.
on the plus side. That damage, though. <laughs> Can Chris possibly get the skill? Let's find out. It would be funny. It's very disrespectful. I don't need to go for it, but I will. Good job, Chris. You killed that level 700 enemy full screen. Show him what up. What a god looks like. Just smite him. So, okay. So that went much better. I think because this character didn't get injured, we should be good now. So the next time I do this, I should be able to get like a level 5,000 or so. Missile has been shown. Yeah, gi Gigantic Slash is two, two lines in front of us. Alright, so this should be a lot of hell. Okay, that's good. So now what we could do is we, we could revive. Let's go at least one more. Because now that that actually happened... Like, we went from level 100 to 2,500. <laughs> the stats are just out of control. I don't even know what to say. I could just go buy another monster weapon. Why not? Oh, hey, look, there's our 1,000 attacker. Thanks, game. I can't buy it. How rude. Chad, how absolutely rude that I can't buy that. Just sell an item for it, whatever. Stupid 1k attack weapon I was talking about earlier. Anyway, I think we're pretty much good to go. So basically, as long as I wound them with the other character, we should be fine. And I need some hell. So, 800,000 might work. So now we should be able to go for like 4,000 or so. And then after that, we can jump up higher. But yeah, you, like right now our stats are just like, look at this, Chad. Like, <laughs> just this character's level is just out of control. We could probably just try to kill our own allies to get experience at this point. If we somehow kill them, it'd be a miracle. Anyway, needless to say, we're going to buff our strongest character. So now what used to be our main clearer might still be used that way. Just overall, we have so many strong alternatives. Honestly, I might even just move Chris over here as well. Make the enemy choose. Oh, I can't move Chris exactly there. Move him here. decoys on the other side. Sorry, Frost, you're a decoy. Sorry, Try, you're also a decoy. We'll do one more decoy. For come, like, over here. There we go, Chad. We're going out of control. 64,000. Holy... Okay, we can just leave the other character in the bank. They're probably good enough to deal with everything. Characters away. Um. So I need our nine movement character. I'm so happy we have nine movement. This strategy would not be possible without boot, actually, because I need to be able to pick this character up. Now they're at 1300. Now we can throw you here. Yeah, I don't think it matters. For you here. We combine these two right now, or wait a turn. I just wait a turn, honestly. mage a little better. One, two, three, four, five. Maybe that's the better throw. So I don't accidentally one-shot them. 
I love that that's my concern. Not actually defeating the enemy, just a just accidentally not one just trying not to one-shot them. Let's do Gigantic Slash. That'll save us some time. So now he's injured. Which is better than we normally do. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's less fine. Ooh. Yeah, now we're down to just one summon. Um, that's not great. I kind of forgot you would be able to do something. Hmm. I think we gotta weaken you a little. Oh, yeah, I might have lost one too many characters there, chat. Poison is actually a big problem for me if this lands on me. Because now I only have one spare character, which means I can't Braveheart this character back up. Uh... Okay, we definitely need to kill a few more of these, for sure. Hopefully they auto-attack me here, like that guy did. I could get a kill. Could do something like lift these two up, kick them away with our hat to try to save them. Oh, Megaton Crush, never mind. Hmm. This is going to be a big problem, Chad. I'm not going to lie. Being down to just one summonable. That was a misplay on my part, for sure. Okay, as long as we don't get an encounter attack war with him here, I should be able to wound him a bit more. if this guy takes a little more damage, but we need to be careful. Oh, he high rolled. No, stop high rolling. Chat, no. I just want to combine them. Man, I wish there was a setup I could learn with this character. That sucks. I'll just finish it out. The worst that happens is I just end up with more money. That's how I view it. If I mess up, I just have more money. But yeah, we, we could have uh, had a super level there. So what am I going to do now that I have this money? We're going to go get some upgrades. Since I'm like, I I'm just assuming I can afford it. <laughs> What's the chat? I there's, there's no longer a doubt in my mind whether I can afford it. Is there anything that gives attack up? Or cactus armor. Anything else with attack? Is that it? Because what I can do is put a cactus armor on him. Which makes me more tanky if I really need it. Reaper's cloak, sure. I'll buy one more upgrade. And we'll move on. Ooh, celestial armor is actually kind of nice. It's actually pretty much like a mirror item. Is that even better than our mirror? A little worse. But honestly, like 2300 is not bad. Might make a difference. Well, anyway, now I'm really not worried about our money. <laughs> We're back up to 17 million. You might have blinked. I was at like 800,000, 17 million. All right, let's try not to kill them. And this time we have much stronger allies in the base, which might make a difference. So I think what I have to do is... Combine earlier? I throw them there. Because I think the problem was is that I left one of these guys alone, and it would be better just to hold on to them than to let them actually attack. 
I think that was my personal mistake. Um... Throw you here, throw you here... Then I can throw another one into him, which is a little different than before. Could protect that node by doing this, maybe? So that's a level 3000 now. Um... Maybe? <laughs> <laughs> right, chat? Like, I mean, as I said before, we're climbing up there. 4,000 is, like, hilariously too high for Item World. I, might, I can, might as well do it at that point. Ooh, Dragon Jacket might be nice for us. But now we suddenly have a lot less overall worries. So I could try to combine them one more time. I don't think there's a downside to trying this. And then we can put him, like, really far out of the way. So if we could capture this... This is a pretty substantial power jump for us. His stats are high, but ours can be so much higher. Like, our base character is that strong. So if we can survive with this base character for a little bit, we should be good. Let's try to weaken them up a little. Yeah, we can still hurt them. That's all that matters. And then most of our characters should actually survive this. I can even set the other guy over here to try to protect them. Which isn't the worst idea. Yeah, suddenly we only lost two characters. I think Chad can agree. That is much better. So much better. So if we can grab this, this is like a game changer level. And I will just immediately go to the item world. Because the item world will let us get a super weapon. And then the item world will also give us an item that gives a lot of stats. And then once we have a character that's over 4,000, I think we're good for a while. Like, I could go to 9,000. I need to eventually. But I can also, next time we play, probably fight a character to get things that are basically on par with Testament. If I really want to. Um, Bring these characters together briefly. I don't think their stats matter as much here, but we could try. I'm gonna go for five buff characters. Let's get as much as we can here. And because they have bad walk range, it basically means I could just buff the whole time and there's nothing they can really do about it. Like, there's no way they can reach Imperimeter right now, for example, or Frost. So I basically can have three monsters at full power. I only really need one at full power in the base. The rest just need to weaken and ship at the other target, and we should be good. If we have one that has all the armor, I might just put him back. I could put him back, for example, for now if I want to. Oh, I didn't realize... Oh. Uh... Actually, this is fine. I, I need to do some damage here, so let's do this. Big damage. We can hit him two more times and then try to kill him, maybe. Nice normal attack here. Thirty-nine thousand was a bit more than I was thinking. Okay, it's not too bad. We have them at a fraction of their health. So what we can do is... Put them away for now. 
Maybe next turn go for a big buff. So I can have... Uh, no. No, I can have... Gonna bite it, hold them for now. And then what I can do is try to... Oh, how many eclairs did I get? Okay. We want to get some heals in. <laughs> right, Chan? While well, we can, we, we probably should. This is making him tankier. We've seen that health matters in this. They've lived by, like, little fractions sometimes. Maybe that'll make a big enough difference? Is there anybody else that needs a buff? We should definitely have Try come out. We can have Parameter buff, Chris buff. We need to make sure his attack power goes above a certain number. Put all these characters in a line. Hopefully this will be good enough, right chat? Like, we did wound them pretty heavily. We're about to triple Braveheart. Which should make up for a lot of stat loss. 6400 is looking really good. Put them back in here. Put this character in here. So now we just need to throw them next turn. Actually, I could throw them this turn. How many Eclairs do I have left? Two. Okay. I'm feeling a lot better, right, chat? Suddenly, you know, our health is basically back to normal. Let's go for it. Come on, please die. Yes! Oh, that's huge, chat. That's huge. We just captured, what was it, a 4,000? Uh-oh, chat. We're, we're going out of control. <laughs> and then we can finally be done with Cave of Ordeals. Cool. Well, anyway, we have more than enough characters to survive item world now. So even if something weird happens and we fight like level 2000 people, it doesn't matter. I could in theory see what Testament is like and play on it. Since at this level, I don't think I care. Like, like, like chat, like come on, look at the stats. <laughs> you look at his XP, how many digits is that? Three, six, nine. 10, 11 digits of XP? Yeah, that seems normal. Holy. Wow, Dragon Dragon Jacket is actually also good on him. That's so disgusting. <laughs> like, look, look, Chase did 49,000. <laughs> well, might as well go buy another super weapon, right, Chad? I got nothing better to do. Why not? Oh, come on, you can do better. All right, Chad, you can do better. Come on. A little, a little better than that. You know what? Let's talk to our good old friends at the council. Would, would they even possibly dare not pass this bill? I was like, <laughs> just don't even don't even start anything with me. I will finish you so fast. You better just approve. It might actually fail. Wait, no, it passed. Well, barely. It almost failed. Hold on, don't mind me, chat. We're just getting casual upgrades before we do what we need. And we somehow rolled lower than before. How is that even possible? Oh, chat, look, we could just buy a Mon Force. Oh, I don't have to go to the item world now because this weapon's good enough. Honestly, wait a minute. I want the item again, but rolled better. No, come on, we saw it's in there. I can't not purchase it. No, not Geosaber, come on. On the plus side, chat, if we want to get super weapons for the human characters, we could. Am I am I really being teased? Can I not get it again? Oh, there we go. Oh, chat and it roll with Gladiator. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Hold on, chat. G G G. <laughs> oh no. Right, chat? Oh no. We're at 51,000 before buffs. 
Mm -mm -mm. Alright, well that was an amazing pickup, needless to say. I will absolutely take that. This is the Reaper's power. This is indeed the Reaper's power. Oh this oh this is an armor with 150,000? Oh, I might buy those. Get some more money first. Hold on, we might need some more healing items. Just a couple. I actually kind of like that. 150 attack on an armor. It's kind of like buying testaments. <laughs> With, without needing to worry that much. We're not going to full equip everybody, but man. Our stats are just so out of control right now. So now we can get stronger. Dare, dare we try to make a level 6,000 character right now? I think we can. The other question is, can we complete Cave of Ordeals now that I have a super god? Get a bow out of this, I guess. Oh, chat. Oh, they only have 9,000 attack? <laughs> Bonk. <laughs> he almost one shots them. <laughs> oh, no. That's not good. Can they even hurt him? Oh, no. Oh, they can kind of hurt him. Bonk. So let me get this straight. If I just do something like this, is he just invincible? Let's get like two of these guys out here. So at this point, we should be able to beat the bonus bosses. Minus uh, the, the actual uber boss. We can beat, I think, every boss but the uber boss. Well, I guess boss is plural since it's the PC version and there's more bosses. But yeah, I think at this point, uh, the most challenging stage, even remember chat, we have like four, 14 enemy bills passed. It doesn't matter. So if I want to improve our stuff, we might have to enemy bill up a little bit more. But honestly, now that I have a Mon Force, I don't know if I really need to get another weapon. I'll think about it. I wasn't expecting to high roll on a weapon like that, but we'll take it. Bonk. Yeah, so these two characters alone should be able to one-shot basically everything. So if we really need some items or money, we could just do the stage a couple times. And affording a super armor that gives stats could be useful on our secondary characters, but our primary character will always be dual-wielding testament. Is honestly, nothing really beats dual-wield testament. I mean, come on, it's amazing. Bonk. So yeah, now we can clear this stage. Like, I don't know how long it would have taken to do this with human characters. I don't ever want to find out, chat, and be real with you. Yeah, like, if this is all they can do, we can easily clear a, uh... I might even just go to Testament, honestly. I was thinking we would do Sophie's Mirror, because it was, like, at least strong enough that it would probably give us a good item, where Testament is just straight up better at this point. Double Testament is amazing. And given how powerful we are, we might do it. I don't even need to go far in the item world. I just need to go, I think, 10 levels. And then on the 10th level, we reset on an item repeatedly. So you're basically seeing a preview of what's going to happen in the item world. I might try one more combination. And then next time, we'll focus on bonus bosses. Or if I have a bonus stream, we might do one of just getting a slightly better character. Because ultimately, we do need to have access to level 9,000, but I don't need it for most of the bonus boss content. Like, this is way more than good enough. I have two characters that are basically gods. Our mages can full buff from the entire screen away. So they're pretty safe at this point. I mean, this enemy is, like, decently tanky. Do something like this to move a little quicker. Speaking of which, can I just steal from you? No, don't defend. <laughs> right, Chad, hold on. I want to disrespect. 
Oh, 0%. Damn, only those two can steal. Stealing an armor would, might save us some time. Wow, that actually did damage. How weird. I might have to try. Gross. Alright, chat, that can't be right. There we go. RJ Chaos finally got a buff there. Nice. Thank you, RJ Chaos. The third mage giving Braveheart matters. Okay, let's get our stats back up and let's go bonkin'. Should be big damage. Wow, the fact that that didn't kill is kind of insane. This shows you how tanky this is. Could you imagine if I didn't have three characters like this chat? Like how impossible this would be? Like genuinely, they actually killed, almost killed one of our 2000 level characters by themselves. Okay, so let's go ahead and set that up again. They might kill one of our blade users here, but we have so many. I don't really want a dragon as a character to capture. Like, we could capture them, but I don't think they're that useful. Wait, what? Oh, there's like a lone monster over here. Oh, and he has a Mon Force. Oh, I want to steal a Mon Force. Oh, I want that. I didn't realize there was another enemy. I forgot about that. Huh. One, two, three, four, five, six. Wait, I don't have a six throw character. Wait. Wait, is it not possible to do this stage? Because we don't have a 6th row character. Uh... Wait, who even has 6th row in Disgaea? Hold on, chat. Let's look it up. I only remember having one, but they were a story character. How do we get that many characters with it? Unless I make a whole bunch of high class people. That's kind of annoying then. I actually have to quit out. My bad chat. I didn't realize there was an enemy all the way over there. How oh, unfortunate. Oh well. I don't need to be cave or deals for anything, but that is very annoying that the enemy is all the way over there. So with our current setup, question. We have 600. So it'd be 1200. This would be 24. This would be 36. 40, 59. I could get a 5900 character right now. If I combine all the other characters, maybe that's worth it? I think it's worth it. Oh, I don't have more than one move nine character. And that guy's too far. I need to turn no matter what. That's unfortunate. But it is kind of funny that I'm just going to combine all these together, because it doesn't matter. Hmm. I don't remember what the best way to do this is. Like, I could throw this guy over here. If this guy was lined up more, I would have been happy. Well, you know what, chat? We'll take those. Listen, ch chat, just casually diagonal throw. It'll be fine. Just do it. It's easy. Oh, I could do... Oh, I used that now already. Um... I don't think I have another throw five. See, the problem is, like, I can't see their normal throw. Oh, this character also is a throw five. Okay. Unless I go to transmogrify them into Skya one. Like, I don't think there is a single stat I can look at on the screen that tells me the throw distance. But what I can... Oh, wait. This character ended up higher level. Oops. That is actually not good. 
I don't want a devil character. Um, I guess what I could do is chain throw. I think I could still save this. Throw you here, and now we'll have a fifth, a level five thousand. And then I can make them 5,800 if I want to. Which is also good enough for us to do whatever. I still can't believe we did all this, though. This is very silly to me. So we could try to force them up to 5,900. The question is, do I think I can outstat that? I guess it wouldn't hurt to put this guy out for now. And now this is the highest level we can get without passing an enemy bill. So if I do want to do any item diving, I have to make a decision in the next, like, 20 minutes or so. But I think, honestly, as is with Amon Force, maybe this is good enough? Honestly insane right now. I think I'm gonna go for it, just to see if we could do it. I guess there's no reason to not test our boundaries. Oh wait, what? Oh, I got the wrong one. Oh, that's not who I wanted. Why did Death Boar take over the other guy? He wasn't higher level. Boo, not the one I wanted. I mean, I'll still capture him. Just to capture him at this point, but that's definitely not who I wanted. Okay, so we can... I'm gonna few of these out for staff buff, so maybe three of them and then Braveheart them full screen. But this guy's gonna be a little harder to control. So good to know that he doesn't combine like that. I guess because he's like technically a mini boss style monster. That he counts as a mini boss, even though he kind of isn't. Annoying. Yeah, we got a super pig. I did not really want the super pig, but whatever. We're here now. I'm not gonna reset on this. I might as well just complete it. Because either way, we'll have an almost level 6,000 character. Oh, Primal Force is actually, I think, pretty good too. We'll take one of those for sure. So getting another free monster weapon also makes me feel like I don't have to do item world. This is... That attack power is insane. How much is this going to do to him? 53,000. Wow, he is really tanky. Right, chat. That tankiness is actually real. Holy. So we could summon one more character again, just to try to get some stats. One... Two, should probably cap them. ID thousand chat, wow. Sixty-six thousand, that's it? Holy. I can, some, I can bait them over to an attacking Fry, I think, and put him in a better position to be attacked. Some of these two... Then I can put these characters away as well next turn. I want to save this character if I can, because he's got super movement. Let's make him come, like, all the way over here. That's too far. Let's have him come, like, over here. Something like that might work. Because he can move nine, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. Okay, the bait was- the bait worked. Now I can make my 9 movement get away for free. Uh, 
Try to hit him with both of these characters and see what happens. 50,000. 32,000. So I can attack one more time. I'm going to move slightly over so I don't get a hit here. Actually, I feel like this might work. Even if he targets me, it doesn't matter. Please don't die. <laughs> right, Jam, please don't die. Um, 27,000 is exactly how much I wanted to do, like on the dot. Want to, ooh, can he, can he not make that distance? Problem. I think what I gotta do is... Braveheart, all three of them. Because we've seen damage matters. Now they're almost at 80,000-ish. Put them back in. There should... Oh, he's only 3,000 total? Oh. Oh, we should be fine. Never mind. I'm, I'm overthinking it on that one. But what I can do is throw this character in. I have another character to deal with them, and this should just be GG. Have RJ Chaos throw him in, I guess. So between all those buffs and having those characters, if we do not somehow capture this character, I'm calling shenanigans. Shenanigans if this guy lives. Yeah, I was gonna say, get out of here. <laughs> right, Jack, get out of here. Got Primal Force. Just okay. Yeah, see, the problem is, like, this enemy is, like, a decent level, but his stats aren't good. We can have him as an anchor, though. Like, just to capture, but we need to do a little better. So we could Okay, so now we know. The highest we can get right now is combining everybody. And then getting one last capture. So I think what we're going to do... Push the game a little further. How close were we to maxing... Why do you have 11,000 mana? <laughs> right, chat? Like, geez. It's character cheats. Um, how close were we to stronger enemies? Oh, we were only... Yikes, we're only halfway? Hmm. We need to pass a few more, chat. I guess I'll do them with Kirk, because I, I only need 8,000. Yeah, shake your head. <laughs> right, chat. Hold on. The, the Punishers are here. How dare you not pass this bill? get one more set of strong enemies to make up for the fact that we can't combine with the pig. And then I guess I'm willing to go into the bonus bosses. As I said before, um, most of the bonus bosses are below level 4,000, and uh, spoilers, we already have stronger than that. And we have Testament, which is by not any stretch of the imagination we... So maybe we'll have a bonus stream of me just diving into an item to get a better weapon. And I'll focus on getting the last little bit of levels here. And then after that, it should just be all bonus bosses, because I don't need anything else. I would like to get to a 9,000-something, but it looks like it's not going to happen tonight. Due to me messing up a couple times. Like, it was on me. I think I could have gotten it sooner if I had not messed up a couple battles. But oh well. I mean, on the plus side, at least the pig has some AoEs, I guess.
Sorry, shark dude. You are so dead. You know what? Let's start on this animation. We never see it. <laughs> just, just casual, like, 60k. Don't worry about it. Honestly, they should see this and be like, we changed our vote. <laughs> right, chat? You're like, you witnessed that and you're like, yeah, I can beat that. Like, okay. You say so. Fools. Game over. So on the plus side, we have somebody we could just leave in the base for capturing. Our weapons are okay-ish. Amon Force is actually really good. It's like one or two under where I want it to go, if I remember correctly. Let me see, Amon Force is ranked. Number 38. So there's only one that's really higher, which is Lucifer Force, which I think we can get Lucifer Force from the item world. Or if I even dive into Amon Force, I'm guaranteed to fight Lucifer Force at some point. So if I really want to, I can go into my own weapon and guarantee it. Maybe. <laughs> right, chat? Because the way the the way it works is that on level basically on level 10, instead of having like an item boss that's a human it has to be a monster to hold like the next rank up so i could force it to be something better it's not like i don't think i can clear it with this many super gods in my party um i'm gonna pass one more bill Where's it at? Uh... I think Baharl doesn't have it. Whatever, right chat? Persuade by force. Justice for Numnu. So I mean like pig pig is pretty unkillable, I will say. I mean they have to get through I'm sorry, how much health was that? 315,000. So he could definitely take some hits to the face. Just his damage is lower than it should be. The sword gods are real, for sure. I would like to get a super cat. If we got a super cat at 909, that would be nice. Hmm. RJ Chaos a little more. I'm gonna say eventually his Braveheart will level up. Then he'll be super nice. Even if it's just two targets, that would be huge actually. Sometimes we only buff two. Only buffing one kind of sucks, but hey, everybody starts somewhere. So that means we have the potential to break over 100,000 damage. I don't really think the game can do much to counter that at this point. Just, I'm just witnessing an absolute massacre. That's all I know, chat. Just They're trying. It just doesn't work on us. Yeah, thankfully Gigantic Slash gives us a little more range. Monsters are pretty limited in the sense that if you don't teach them any magic at all, they have no range attacks unless their character class has it. Oh, that was just embarrassing. I think we can all agree. That was just actually sad. Bonk. <laughs> On the plus side, we are now so strong that passing these bills should be like nearly instantaneous. That also saves a lot of time if we have to do more bills. 
But two more enemy level ups means that we can get stronger Dula hands. Assuming that's what these creatures were originally, or whatever they call them. Bonk. Let's go see how that impacted the other thing. So every level up also potentially makes the uh, Nekomata stage pretty good. Let's take a look at that real quick. So we could, in theory, combine all of these characters. So they're now worth 262 each. This is 750. This would be 1500. 2000. To get like a 3500 Nekomata. Not bad. And what about the duel of hand with these two level ups? Remember, the enemies were at 606 when we played earlier. We did edge them up a little bit more. They gained 90 levels apiece. It's not insignificant. So overall, it'll be like we combine the others. I'm not feeling too worried about this capture. In fact, I might even push it higher, honestly. Guess we'll see. Diagonal throw again, chat. Damn, I'm good. 10 out of 10, chat. Let's see what their new combined levels are. Wow, did I use every single melee character? Oh, that's crazy. Well, good thing we made Calvisham. Okay, so we ended up at the same level I was looking to get anyway with two bill upgrades. I think Chat can agree, it's probably fine. I think it was like, what, 5838 was the, the pig level? 5930, whatever. So we could probably bill him up a little more. So if we get like four or five more bills, honestly, I think we could go straight to 8,000 at minimum. At this point, we just need to weaken them a little. And them only being able to do that is actually huge. So we need to make sure that our three or so characters are empowered. We know that it's not really important for the Nekomatas to be empowered, so we can use them as bait as needed. We definitely need to save our other character here. This is the ability to move nine spaces cannot be contested at all. So we'll still use Chris, we'll still use a Parameter. But I think at this point, there's just... There's no one in this universe that can keep up with the power of these scaling monsters. The more the monster bill scales, the more broken they become. So we've already broke 5,000 like, no time at all. And honestly, a lot of the delay just has to do with A, me messing up, and then B, uh... The fact that there's not, like, a strongest enemy bill in this version of the game. I have to do, like, a lot of more individual bills. Which adds up to like a, a couple hours more, but it is what it is. Wow. I'm gonna put him away. He's Lauren for damage, maybe. Let's see, 
25,000 is pretty good. 39,000 is pretty good. I can hit him again with another 65,000, I think. Honestly, only losing one mage there, I'm kind of okay with that. I can even put you back in the base. I don't need you for anything else. I could do a brave heart on him. Do another one. As long as I don't randomly like super roll, we should be fine here. Please don't do like a bazillion. Would have preferred 65,000 there, but not the end of the world. A try back in so I can have another person growing. Um, I think this works. So we have a couple characters in there that are super high level. We have one that's basically his stats, and we have a second one for damage, so this should be pretty quick. He's probably just killing our miniature people. Yeah, I was gonna say, there's no way we don't kill him here. I don't believe it. Yeah, he, he barely went through half of the death for his health. But yeah, it's over. So yeah, we just got another 5,800. So if we capture more, we could probably get like an 8,000 plus. So every bill is 90. I think we could pass seven more bills. That's a lot of extra damage. This enemy is so dead, chat. Wow, he just normal attack and missed. Big yikes, that's embarrassing. Surprisingly eviscerated live. This might be a first. <laughs> it's actually getting stomped. I got enough hell to revive them. I got a weapon called the Axe of Death. How we doing? So he's a little lower level, but his stats are so much higher. Kind of worth it. They can take him on force off. As I said before, this this weapon is just like actually bonkers, yeah. So take these off of him for now. And leave Death Boar with what Death Boar has on. We have a character that just straight up has 66,000 in stats. Death Boar's equipment is actually not totally atrocious. I'm just moving up our equipment one tier. So we technically don't really need these other characters anymore. Put a Primal Force on them, it's better than nothing. Wow, that Celestial Armor adds insane stats. So at this point, chat, we now have a character with a base 66,000 attack, and they have 222,000 health. So I don't think there's very much the game can do to stop me in normal difficulty. So that game, that feels pretty broken. I could get rid of some of the Neku things, because I don't really need them anymore. I can check to see if there's some kind of god item in here, but I can't afford it unless we clear something again. Might as well let's take a look. Platinum arms. Um. So I could get like another 6,000 or so by doing it. Hmm. 
I want to see something real quick, chat. But before I do that, actually, I need bandit hands. I need like a lot of bandit hands. This might be good enough. I shouldn't need Flan because I have so many raw characters. This should be fine. I'm just curious. If we just take like a little journey here for a second and I unequip this. We're gonna we're gonna do a brief save. If I just peek. Oh, oh, Chad, it's trying to tell me about the item world. Oh, that's so cute. I'm kind of a god, I don't really care. <laughs> right, Chad? Like, they tried, I guess, but it's like, I don't care. Yeah, Mon Force here is kind of insane. Lucifer Force is ideal. Right, we're just take a little teeny tiny peek. Little, 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 little peek, chat. What kind of items do we see on these monsters? Bravery Bell. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> um. Well, that answers that question. Uh, so chat, we could just get one of the best weapons in the game right now. We need to have a Gensi's exit though, because I I am not gonna survive this attempt without it. I mean, it's a good thing I picked up four in our other playthrough, so I could just go get the best weapon right now. Let's just let's get a little peek. If we're lucky, it happens again. We just gotta look for monsters. It did happen. Enigma's okay. Reset. I saw it. It loaded with Lucifer Force. That is the best possible weapon we can get outside of literally going in Lucifer Force and getting a better weapon. Ooh, it's right there? Oh, chat, it's right there? Demon Hand, don't care about that. Any other crazy items? They're, chat, they're only level 300. Okay. Chat, okay. <laughs> and there's a primal force. Oh my gosh. <laughs> just don't mind me. Just going, whoops and doodles. <laughs> just just gonna just gonna bypass that whole giving it all we missed. Hold on. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, 50%, please. Yeah! It's over. <laughs> Look at the stats! Chat, it's over! <laughs> Game over. <laughs> well, anyway, that was a, that was fast. Damn, chat, I told you I was gonna go in the item world, but, uh... It's, it's actually over. They can't physically harm me. I mean, there's no reason for me to not go another floor at this rate. So, just to show you the difference... I mean, chat, come on. Look at that stat difference. 15,000 attack. Disgusting. He also gains 3,000 defense, for some this reason. Is the Reaper's power. Yeah, I mean, look at that. It's like a testament on itself. Like, isn't this item crazy, chat? This item's crazy. That was easy. Damn, I thought we were gonna take longer than that. Bonk. <laughs> do I even need to do a door? Maybe I just keep going, honestly. Just hit level 10 of this weapon and just have another super weapon, because why not? Yeah. Hi. Well, anyway, that should make capturing way easier, because I'm just a walking god at this point. It would not surprise me if casual enemies have testament at this point, either. And we can see that despite all the item upgrades, it's not helping them any. Our nine movement characters are so clutch. I might as well go to the next floor. I will acknowledge we can leave at any time now. I got what I came for. But what if we could get like another Lucifer Force? Oh, there's an Amon Force. Sure, let's try to get that. <laughs> right, chat? I mean, that's only like... How many billion? Oh, come on. 50%, please. Yeah, okay, so that's, a, that's another free upgrade. <laughs> I 
Any other fun items on these characters? The Celestials, whatever. Oh, that poison could actually matter. Did I get poison? No, I did not. Oh, I got bad news for everything near me. That means I could get an upgrade on our pig god, I guess. Because at this point, even if I go to, like, floor 20, I don't think anything could still defeat me, even if I somehow reached an item god. Yeah, I lose a little bit of health, but I gain 5,000 attack. Chad, I think that's okay. I don't know about you. I, th I, I think I'm okay with that trade. <laughs> Just, I think I'm okay. So yeah, I think it's, uh... I think it's over. Death approaches them. So yeah, we could grind out, like, hey, but we're deals. Or we just go into item world and go, teehee, everything is broken. So keep in mind, chat, in theory, we might see them with some crazy items. Including things like Excalibur. They could just randomly have, like, the endgame sword for no reason. They won't have, like, the rank 40 or whatever, but we'll get everything in between. Hi. So right now we have two... No, we actually have three really good... We have one super weapon and then two really good weapons. So I'm feeling pretty good overall. Feeling pretty good, chat. Hi. <laughs> chat, they're casting shield. Like, that's gonna do anything. Get out of here. Dunked. <laughs> sure, we got bonus hell. Why not? Who cares? Any other fun items I should be aware of? Aw, oh, bad items. Boo. I mean, that's one way to go to the next floor. Die. Was oh, that a gladiator? If that's a gladiator, that's actually worth killing. It is. Ooh. Ooh, chat. Ooh. Don't mind if I do. Sure it would be a shame if I just exploded you. Honestly, even with enemy boost times three, I don't think they could kill me. I'll be real with you. I don't think this matters. So doing a gladiator means we can move it off and potentially have it on one of our other items, which could be useful. Since we've seen that damage multipliers get kind of crazy. And keep in mind, we're still technically in a weapon. So if we hit level 10 with it, we could end up with like a 2200 plus attack weapon. Which is even better than Lucifer Force. So at that point, if I feel like I'm missing stats, we might just dive into a testament. And that'll be like our final ever item world, because I don't need them anymore. No. Oh, Loginus. I think Loginus is actually good, if I remember correctly. The Lyle Force. Lyle Force is one step weaker than a Mon Force, so I think I'll ignore it. Oh, it's a coach for speed. You know what? Sure. I'll murder you. I might give up one of our random characters to get the kill. There we go. We can potentially move that on to the other weapon. Now, where's the exit? Oh, it's just over there. Oh.
There we go. Oh, I was trying to determine why I wasn't able to reach it. I was like, what? Anyway. All right, child, we'll just wait. Bye. Bye. There's another exit. Ooh, another Lucifer Force. Hell yeah. Right, chat? All the way over there. Wow, all the good weapons are here. Holy. I think the trick is going to be not killing them. Bonk. But the zombie can't move, so I could take advantage of that. Throw a couple of our super characters over there. That way I get two chances a turn to steal. Make sure maybe Calvisham throws, because he might need to take a hit here. Calvisham might survive, maybe. Yeah, we don't care about the infernal staff at all. We could just bonk this guy from existence. So we could get a second Lucifer with Force Chat. This feels fair. Oh, you had you had Star Magic? Oh, I was not expecting that. You got me on that one, right, Chat? Yeah, we got another one. GG. Horchata? Okay. Ooh, Muscle Ace. A legendary Muscle Ace. How fun. Well, anyway. And it sure would be a shame if I were to just bonk everything from existence now. Bonk. <laughs> Damn, we now have two of the second best monster weapons in the game. So by the way, I would have to go into Lucifer Force. Instead of getting a 1500 attack, it'd be 2000 attack. Instead of 300 to every stat, it'd be 400 with every stat. So like, we could get the upgrade. I don't think it's needed, but having a second one is kind of funny. I'm not gonna lie. So, so far, it was worth coming here, because I just ended up with the second best weapon in the game twice. Which you can't even purchase in stores. So... Although, funny enough, it says Amon, Amon Force is also not available in stores, but... I guess that's what we call, that's the wiki for ya! Wrong. Right, chat? Just wrong, as usual. Oh, Wiki, you're never correct when you need to be. Um. <laughs> this one is special. Can never be trusted, exactly. Wow, that counter attack damage is insane. Is it worth actually clearing this stage? Oh, I get bonus XP? Wait a minute, hold on. Hold on, chat. I could just give 175,000 experience to random people? Uh, absolutely. <laughs> Let's see, who, who has earned it? We'll have gonna bite it. We're gonna bite it there. Let's the printies haven't earned it. Uh, let's have RJ Chaos get XP. So I'm just curious. Chris doesn't need it. It won't really level him. Frost. Level Kurt. Let's give Rogue Nine the XP. Who else is, like, actually needing XP? I think that's about it, right? Actually, you know what? The Red Mage has been... The Red Mage has been putting in the work. We're getting more stats. Wouldn't hurt. I didn't even check. Do these guys actually have good items? Less shield armor. I don't think that matters. Be real with you. I can look it up real quick, I guess. I got nothing better to do. Oh, it doesn't matter. We killed him. There we go. Three levels. So, Gunnabite is now level 38. Oh, it's this reliable as game facts. Yeah, pretty much. RJ Chaos is now 39. She's now level 40. So, I mean, like, that does matter, because that gives me, like, two to three extra Braveheart casts. Rogue 9 is 59 now instead of 55. But, like, maybe that makes a difference? 
There's another Lucifer Forest? Oh my gosh, chat. It's, it just, this is just getting out of control. Um, I'll do Disgaea Armor. I mean, I, I could just see if it's actually worth getting. I, I honestly don't know. So let's see. Best armor you can get is Nirvana. Infernal armor is also pretty good, it looks like. The Celestial was just kind of mediocre. It, it did give 70 to all stats, so it would have been like a... It would have been decent-ish. What the heck is this stage? The stage is terrible. Why is the exit so far? <laughs> right, chat? I don't think I need another Lucifer. I think I'll just end. Because at this point I have, like, what, three? I think I only realistically need one. Because I'm going to be leveling one. So I could switch the boar over to have it, because it's funny. So the boar gets an insane stat boost across the board. So he's already really good at surviving and or tanking stuff, but now even better. I think I just want to get to the end on this one. Let's just have a chain throw. And I might as well just complete the first 10 levels and save a door in case I want to do an item god thing later. If I accidentally put the pretty in that chain, I would have been so sad. It's like world's dumbest deaths. Hmm. That's yeah, lately. I think I could do something like this. Somebody with movement. You know what? I'll throw him parameter at him. Whatever. Gonna bite it with massive stats. Oh, please don't pick up the enemy. Even please. Well, if I can't make this, it's gonna make me very sad. Oh, would I have to do a diagonal throw? Ew! Ew. Ew. Gross. <laughs> right, Chad, I, I actually legitimately needed to do the diagonal throw. That was gross. I'm, gl I'm glad we practiced that, by the way. Holy. Disgusting. What floor are we on? Eight? Okay. So this is another XP floor if I just want to power level. I don't think I do, though, unless this is... I mean, there's really not that many people here. There's another Celestial Armor if I want it. Um, I don't care about Infernal Shields. Anything else is just kind of terrible. I don't see any interesting accessories either. So I guess I can kill everything? Is this just 20% damage? Ooh, let's, not let's not have him end his turn there. That would make me very sad. These characters are effectively immortal. So I can level up our other companions just because. Wait, is the gatekeeper on it too? That's hilarious, actually. Just actually exploding. Wait, where's this other enemy? Oh, they're not even on a damage tile. I have to actually go to them. Ugh. Why are they like this, chat? What what tile is he standing on? A red tile? Can I just move this on a red tile? I think I can. I mean, like, listen, chat. I I don't feel like doing pro shenanigans. You're like, that, that, that is beneath us at this time. I'm like, no thank you. Listen. I mean, I'm glad these characters can hop out. 
So I guess I can level our our brawlers. I guess they put in the work. I want to see just how brawl level they are now. Give them all that XP. I guess they did earn it. They they've they've died the most for the cause. Oh, let's level Gansel. Gansel needs some levels. He's out of range. I should not be targetable from here unless absolute shenanigans happen. Dude, spinning Slash. It's good that we have an AoE character at least, even if their stats are kind of mediocre. And all we need to do now is just move one of these in such a way that we could get a kill. Um, Making 20% damage doesn't really matter when your health is terrible. I'm gonna go with that. <laughs> right, chat? I'm kind of like, uh, like, oh no, I lost 200 health. What a shame. Anyway, he's not taking damage. The most- here you go, chat. <laughs> turn, go! Turn, go! We'll win eventually. And then our hit squad might actually do damage in story mode, which is kind of funny when you think about it, given how much we haven't paid attention to them, that they could legitimately clear, like, the next few chapters. There we go. There we go. A little extra hell for later. We should be basically at the point where I can leave. We have a terrible weapon. Any other fun ones here? Another... Another Belial Force. Okay. Lionheart is okay. I don't think these other weapons are too crazy. I'm not seeing, like, Excals or anything, which is fine. You know, they don't all have to be amazing. Muscle Dream? Is that the thing that, uh, Kalvisham is wearing? I wouldn't mind stealing another one of those, honestly. Muscle Star. What's Muscle Dream? Is it just the 400 one? Galactic Muscle is new. Hmm. Right, chat? Hmm. I'm gonna look it up real quick. I mean, I could steal it just for the sake of stealing it. I'm attempting to look it up. Not glasses, not orbs. Galactic Muscle is 5,000 health. Huh. I mean, sure. I have a lot of hands. Yeah, they- oh, he lost 15,000 health! Holy- actually dumpstered. Chat just actually wrecked. <laughs> Holy- wait, he actually survived that too, what a beast. What a- what a- what a fool. Uh, let's just go bop you. Thank you, enhanced movement. Target height problem. Outta here. Target height this. So, let me get this straight. I can just put this on one of these random characters and basically become unkillable. Curiosity. Oh wait, I think Halfisham died for the cause. I don't think I could check. Alright, let's take a character that's just neutral. I mean, chat, come on. <laughs> I mean, like, if we just want Kirk to be actually unkillable, now that would have made story mode a lot easier. I think you would agree. Just a casual double the health total. Let's walk out of there. Dominantly. Anyway, we got items that are way better than basically anything we could ever ask for. Destiny Lens. That actually, I think, is really good, if I remember correctly. Destiny Lens is one lower than the best... Uh, glasses in the game. So I think we should probably steal it. And it's legendary? Shaolin Belt. Check that. Shaolin Belt is 400 attack power by itself. Well. 
that's how we leave. Where's our portal? Our portal's over there. As long as I don't kill them instantly, we should be fine. Cactus armor, don't really care. Don't really care. I could steal another 5,000 health item if I want, but I think I'm good. I think as we like to say, chat, one's enough. Ooh, that somehow didn't kill. Interesting. And we, and we even hurt him? Probably not. Here goes. Wow. Wow, they're doing actually zero. Oh, that's so embarrassing. Ooh. Right, chat? Big oof. We got several characters to go. Come on, get the Destiny Lens for us. Seriously? This is why I bought a lot of them, Chad. There we go. So we got a legendary second best item in the game. I think you had something else I was interested in, right? Nice. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> Chat, that feeling when you can just walk up with any of your spares and be like, yep, my level eclipse is yours. I could just rob you blind. There's nothing you could do anymore. Ooh, legendary muscle star. Hmm. Maybe. I mean, look at all these items I don't have to try for. <laughs> right, Chad? That's how I view this, right? Like, just look at all these stupid items that are just completely game-breaking. Oh, look, Chad, we get another Mr. Kenzie's exit back. Sure, let's end our turn. We'll take a look at the lens that we just picked up. So anyway, if Chad was wondering how to get the best items in the game, just go in the item world briefly. We got, like, two or three top tiers. Wow, actually got one shot. So, for example... That is 825 hit and double statistician. Chat. Ooh. <laughs> now, that's 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 pretty good. Oh man, there's a Shaolin belt. Hey, came a gladiator. Nice. Nice. We'll just improve our stats a little here. Ooh, that Shaolin belt on him is kind of nasty. <laughs> right, chat? Ooh, 62,000 now on the pig. I mean, I almost feel bad for them, but then I'm like, we prepared the whole night for this, and we got rewarded so hard. My chat, the reward was out of control. Get out of here. Cool. Like, that was their tank enemy. Their tank enemy with, like, the best the best health booster in the game didn't matter. Bonk. <laughs> so now we're gonna get another weapon with levels. I mean, I guess they're sort of hitting me, I guess. Bonk. Is there just one guy alive? Oh, that's so sad. He tried, though. Okay, we got two Lucifer forces, some decent armors. Not bad. Ooh, that's embarrassing. He died in a counter war. So anyway, if we needed some money for healing, uh, that, that should cover us. We only picked up a casual six mil. 
return to the castle. Chat, let's, let, let's look at the stats of the weapon we just leveled. Um. Woo. Damn the stats. Right, chat? Damn those stats. Holy. The fact that these characters are still getting upgrades as we go down the line is crazy to me. Even our quote unquote weaker characters at this point are just kind of godlike. <laughs> yeah, those glasses are crazy. Doesn't Chris have glasses? Oh no, the parameter does. So it doesn't have like too, too much more. But we'll do it. Sell the weapons we clearly no longer need because it just does not matter at this point in the game anymore. Uh, warrior's bow, don't care. Don't care. Copper glasses, don't care. Weapons with only 650 attack, don't care. I guess night vision could be useful on somebody. Check real quick. The fact that I could just randomly give Alvisha more health if I wanted to. But having Kirk be kind of tanky and be one of our throwers is nice. So we're back up to 20 million, you know, 30 30 vision. I think you see in the future at this point, it's just like, it's like, oh, look at that. So we're, we're gonna get some more. How, how do I get these upgrades and still get nothing useful? It's like mind boggling. I might as well buy an infernal armor because it's better than nothing at this point. I'd prefer a couple more bandit hands, for the obvious reason of them being completely busted. Um... Maybe? I think we could do a little better on Infernal Armor. At this point, it's pretty much like... Multiple stats. Tempting. I want it on attack, basically, because we seem to scale really hard off of that. These are just kind of mediocre. So we could buy, like, good enough armor that it's like we got other strong ones in here. Come on, a little better than that. We'll put it on one of our other characters. I'll buy another one. Int does not matter on our other characters. We want it to be defense, resistance, multiple stats. Fun game. It can roll a little better than just SP. I don't care about SP either. On the plus side, at least I got most of my eclairs back. This is so sad, Chad. I just want like the most basic of upgrades. Can't get it. I'll get that one for defense. They make the pig basically unkillable. Wow, the fact that the 220 attack is that much of a stat difference is kind of insane. So we're getting 10 times the amount of stats from armor compared to everything else, by the way, chat. That's fair, right? Might as well do that to improve our stats. Might as well do that to improve our stats. Yeah, armor right now is kind of bonkers, so I could see why Testament might be useful. So if we wanted to level up a Testament, we would really break the game at this point. Since I think it scales more than the weapon does for our attack power. Although, unequipping that, it does seem to offer quite a bit. So anyway, we can move that 204 Gladiator if we want to level a Testament up, for example. <laughs> yeah, I think we're 
good for now. I mean, this damage is, as I said before, completely and utterly insane. And double, double testament is already kind of bonkers. So this character is basically unkillable. The fact that we made a glass cannon character tankier than the tank character is very silly. Now I guess the question is, since we're gonna wrap up, I think about here. I want to see. I want to see the difference in power. Do you know what I mean, Chad? Like, how how do we feel now in the same stage now that we have the super items? Oh yeah, that seems fair. <laughs> right, Chad? Oh yeah. Bonk. Man, Chad, remember when we were, like, trying to buff in order to kill these things? Remember that? Beginning of the session? Now it's just disgusting. Bonk. <laughs> so I think we're about good. I could go a little further, and we might do that next time, just to enemy build up to max. Just to get a better hand. We might have a little mini session. Just to go do specifically that, and that will be all that we do in it. But I mean, at this point, I mean, look at this chat. They physically cannot harm the character at all. I guess it's appropriate we're called Omega, because it is the end for them. <laughs> we're doing double their health every swing. They physically cannot damage us with any move. The least we improve defense matters to some extent, at least in the early disguise. And we have enough accessories, thanks to what we had earlier, that we are basically good to go for the bonus boss just from that alone. Since we've seen how much the little mini stats provide, where even 50 defense ends up being several thousand in stats. So at most what I'll do is buy one more super armor. But I I, I think even this is un I think this is overkill, honestly. I'd prefer to get an infernal armor with more attack and just put it on the other character if I can. On. We have enough money, we can do it. Hey right, Chad, if just one of them is gladiator, that's like several thousand in stats. Come on, right chat, come on. Do it. I'm gonna see what our damage can get up to before the end of the run. Come on, do it. Is it not gonna happen? Are we just gonna knock a gladiator? That's so sad. So sad, chat. So basically those armors are at minimum like dark rosaries, but on but with super stats. So if I wanted to just really make our mages impossible to kill, I could just buy a million of these. Wow, it really does not want to drop. Is it not allowed? Or am I just really unlucky? I'm seeing like double dietitian before I see gladiator. It's kind of insane. Come on, game. Other eclair, I'm definitely gonna buy those. Still cannot get what we're looking for. A player. I want one of those. Hmm. We'll go a couple more times, but maybe they can? I mean, the fact that I still haven't seen it yet is kind of crazy to me. I feel like we should have seen it if it could spawn with it. So we'll just get another one with maybe defense resist, I guess. So that we're unkillable. Kaiser's like, wow, I'm still up. It's not that late. Good night. Uh, one more reroll. So sad, Chad. It's not letting us have it. Yeah, maybe they just can't roll with Gladiator. I don't remember the rules for armor. I didn't honestly expect to buy armor in this run, but 
I'm here. I might as well try it. On one more. The other player is good. Wow, it's actually kind of crazy how bad the luck is with the rolls on those. Speaking of terrible, what the heck are these rolls? They're so bad. Okay, I think we've recovered most of the items that I used in the item world. Buy a couple more of these just in case. As I said before, I don't care about SP. We should have a million. Anything but speed. Just resistance defense, I'll take it. I'll even take HP at this point. Game, please. I feel like now the game is just teasing me. Can you really not roll any better than this? This is so sad. It's like the bare minimum. Fine, I'll buy this one. So yeah, the belts provide insane attack stats. So I could just straight up buy a belt if I want to. Might not be a bad idea, actually. How expensive were the belts? I didn't even see them in here. Or are they not sold anymore because I, I made the weapons or I made the armor too expensive? Is that what happened? If so, that'd be kind of sad. Hold on, chat. Let's see the rules for belts. No, well, there should be bravery, though. I don't know where it is, but in theory it spawns. We said it a couple times. I'm not seeing it offhand, because having 300 attack on that would actually be huge. If I don't see it, I don't see it. I'll just move on. I'll do two more attempts. And we'll look at our final stats. Yeah, I'm not seeing it in here. Oh, unless it's one of those things where it didn't get unlocked. I did forget it reset our items a while ago. It's possible we never unlocked it again. Give me a second. Did we unlock it? No, we did not. Okay. I mean, dare you even stop me from getting this? Fools. Chat, what fools? Fools. I'm persuading by force. Listen, chat, I want belt. So we might get one belt. Although I don't have, think I have enough money for it. But we could get a belt the next time we go to play, which is good enough. But at this point, I don't even need the Braveheart. Like, what can they even do about this? It's over. <laughs> that was it? Okay. You showed me, I guess. Goodbye. So I think what we'll end up doing next time, we're gonna max out the enemy build to unlock something. We're going to... I don't think I need any more equipment. I think we're good. We might get one more high-level monster, and then it'll be basically bonus character stuff the rest of the time. So we'll probably split into a different video when we do the bonus character stuff. This is all just part of our ridiculous setup. I am kind of sad we lost power, though. Lead us just a tiny bit. Although, sadly, it didn't. the delay did not seem to help our enemies any. I mean, the fact that you're seeing all zeros and misses tells you everything you need to know about the state of our characters. It's like, yeah, they're, they're not able to kill this. Oh, I forgot to see if they actually had any items. See, I kind of doubted it. The funny part, chat, is we could just throw the senators into the other place if we wanted to. Oh, we actually survived. So if we just wanted a super enemy, I think we could just capture them, in theory. Bonk. Oh, I have 5 million. For some reason, I thought it was 500,000. Never mind, I think I could buy a belt then. Oh, we could do better than Spirit Belt. Listen, we're at max rank items. You can, you can do a little better than that, please. Oh, 
little, a little better than that. Come on. A little, a little teeny bit. We should get like a minimum 300 attack one. No. <laughs> right, chat? Shake your head. No. Disgaea. I mean, I would have loved the triple gladiator on one of the armors earlier. Don't get me wrong. 79 is not bad. Let's just go pick it up. Ooh, more eclairs. I might need those for the future. I feel like I'm being gaslit by this guy. Where, where is the high attack belt? Again, allegedly, I should be able to buy at least the bravery belt. I've only seen the training belt, I think, so far. So we'll try a couple times, because this is a... Oh, there it is. Oh, it even came with Gladiator? Nice. Okay. If we really just want to push their power to the limit, we just take one of the existing belts and, uh... Put them up to 64,000. But yeah, these double testament Sophia's Mirror. Is it basically over? It's not bad. Yeah, that's probably good enough. So we have one decked out character, we have a backup character, and we have another backup character. And between them, we should be able to pass 100,000 attack on all of them. And most of them are so tanky that they're basically unkillable. Although, funny enough, the minus 100 defense on the belt is actually resulting in, like, several thousand defense loss. But whatever. I guess at least we have Celestial Armor to balance things out a little bit. Yeah, what a what a stack of characters. So what do you think, Chad? I think we did pretty good. We went from level 100 was our highest to 5,930. That's not bad for one session. <laughs> I'm sure there are people thinking we were gonna be here for like 20 sessions. I'm like, nah. Honestly, if we pass like five more enemy bills, I think we could get an 8,000 monster right now. And we're at the point where we have enough characters in the base, I should just auto-capture. I'll leave the monsters in there just for chat, but we don't we don't need them. We don't need the lower level ones anymore. We might as well junk them. But it is funny seeing the pig at 317,000 health. I, I don't know how the capture enemies are going to get through this character, to be honest with you. Uh, I'll check one time here. Oh, I can't buy an upgrade for the team. So sad. I'm out of cash. Guess we'll have to do another fight. Actually, chat, since we got interrupted earlier, why don't we just pass two more enemy bills now so we don't have to do it later? Also, I love that I'm at 18,000 mana, by the way, chat. Like, that's a totally fair amount of mana to be at, despite the character only existing in this session. Just totally fair. Makes sense. X out. ended up getting most of his mana back, which is nice. I could still eventually open these up, which I do need to do for the bonus stuff. Let's make them a little stronger, Chad. Wave your finger, Chad. So every single one of these bills I think we were talking about before is 90 extra levels. So if we have six enemies, that would be six times 90, plus like another 100 on top of that. That's a lot of levels per, so we could probably get a 7,000 dual hand minimum. So. I mean, at this point, it just, they, they can't stop us. Like, I don't even need to buff anymore, it's actually over. Getting the armors is just kind of like the cherry on top, just getting another 2k defense. Just to show them how helpless they are against the power of this team. I am liking the pig's AoE, even though I don't like how he interacts with stats. The dual hand interacts with attack like out of this world. It's like a 10 times multiplier. Actually broken. Look at all those zeros, chat. Get out of here. Wow, someone survived that? I'm, I'm just actually impressed by that. I killed so many enemies he actually leveled. That's disgusting. Hi, right, chat. 
Th things that I don't need. More levels on these characters. Funk. Poor enemies. They tried though, I guess. So I'll take this. I mean, it's not my preferred enemy type, but we'll go with what we got. It feels pretty good to have so two characters that are just absolutely able to stomp this game out of existence. This is for Etna mode enemies. You know what you did. A curiosity. out real quick. 738. So they went up a total of 129 levels? So it'd be 21, 21, so it'd be 42, we can round it up to 43, 51, a little over 6,150 or so, maybe 200. So not a big difference over our current character, but it means we still have a little bit to go. So if we pass, as I said before, seven to eight more bills, that is basically like adding 800 levels or so. You have to think of it that way because it's 90, 80, 27, 36, 45, 54, then 63, 72. So yeah, about 800 per bill is added. We still can pass like six more bills. So I think we could very easily get an 8,000 Doolahan. I would like to get a 9,000 character at some point, but we'll, we'll see what happens. But I think for now, chat, let's pause here. Talk about how we think things went. Well, aside from a couple of accidental kills, which did add to the time today, we got all the weapons. I think I need to beat the game, so that's done. We have all the accessories. That's done. We need to basically unlock the bonus content, which should also give us even more accessories, believe it or not. <laughs> So we're going to get a character that I think has like all legendary accessories, which is kind of busted. So even if I was somehow lacking in them, uh, we're, we're going to get them guaranteed. So at this point, I think we just go for unlocking the rest of the enemy bills. And uh, yeah, we'll get there. So sadly, as I said before, we probably need to pass like nine or ten more bills. So it's just going to be like another hour just from that, sadly. But then after that, I think the game is over. Like, we're just going to do all the bonus content back to back to back. So we're almost there. So maybe chat on Wednesday, I'll do a short stream. Just uh, basically doing enemy builds. And probably compile it into one bigger stream. We'll see. Depends on my mood. Maybe I'll just leave it separate. Well, anyway, that's for me to think about for later. But for now, let's go ahead and say goodbye to YouTube. If you did watch to this point, the video or the VOD, I'd like to say thank you for watching. And hope to see you again in the next big power-up time. Okay, chat. So we ended up getting, as I said before, like the second best weapon in the game for monsters. We got some of the best possible upgrades uh, in the item world from, what was that, 10 levels? So whatever people are saying on GameFAQs or wikis, and they're like, get all these statisticians and brokers, I'm like, why? <laughs> I'm like, I'm not leveling by XP anymore, chat. Like, we, we, we have gone beyond that. We don't care anymore. So just think, chat. Like, you could do this on your first playthrough. All you really need is, like, the first character to start your snowball, right? So you just go into like an item world after you have like a level 600 or 800 character, not even like 4,000, like just 800. And you too could snatch basically all those stupid Belials. Because keep in mind, I was playing with enhanced uh, or with stronger enemies active in item world. And I was still auto confirming them at like six, at like almost 100% level bonus. And you saw that even just being like a couple of hundred above them is guaranteed steal. Well, guaranteed air quotes. It's guaranteed 50%. So yeah, not that hard. So anyway, chat can see why I did the challenge to uh, not use monsters. Since uh, once you get monsters, there is literally no reason to use other characters. Unless you were putting in some like insano thousand hour grind. 
I could not imagine sitting through doing all the statisticians to like max level, combining them, etc. Guarantee, disclaimer, not a guarantee. Yeah, pretty much. I could not imagine doing it. It just doesn't feel like it's worth it. But we're almost done here. We're basically just... I could just opt to do the bonus content now. I think we could probably leave it as is. It might be challenging if I leave the stronger enemy bill on. I don't know. The only other thing I can think of, chat, is there's something that requires me to go to basically the end of the game. I haven't decided if I wanted to do those or not. I might do bonus streams for that later. Like outside of Cult of the Lamb or something. So if I want to do like a bonus stream next Friday, for example, I could do it just for Disgaea. Just for bonus endings and stuff. But I think the playthrough is otherwise done. I want to show off as much as I can Thursday in terms of making sure that we are able to at least see some of the cameos. Because for those that haven't played Disgaea before, uh, the game has a ton of cameo boss fights. So we're going to try to get through all of them. But one of them requires me to basically get to strongest enemy build 20. So we're, we're a little roadblocked. That's like the only thing holding us back, Chad, is that stupid stronger enemy build takes forever. Although on the plus side, if you have the Disgaea complete version of the game, they did add that into Disgaea 1, so instead of needing to pass like literally 20 builds that require like 30,000 mana or some BS, and they also require you to basically force them, and they take like 10 minutes or so, yeah, you can just do it in like 5 minutes. So it's definitely way faster to play on complete than the PC version, but whatever. I only have the PC version. But anyway, chat, we're almost done. So with that, I'm going to say, I guess, goodbye for now. So we had a basically super, 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 super good session, minus uh, losing power briefly. Um, I messed up like a couple of maps, but I mean, ultimately, we are pretty much good to go at this point. So expect a really big stomp probably next session. So for now, chat, thank you for watching and hope you have a good day or a good night, depending on the time zone.